All right, guys. Okay, welcome to the stream. Hopefully, everyone's doing great over there. Glad to see everyone coming in. We got Josh though dropping to the stream saying, "Yo, welcome to the stream, Josh." He says, "How are you, my guy?" Hey, it's been a good day for sure, Josh. Just on a bit of Black Ops Three Zombies. It's gonna be a good time for sure, man. We're gonna be doing a fun challenge though on some Bo3. We're gonna be doing it on the Giant. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can try and do no gums and no AATs as well. Uh, to see how we can try and do, you know, that's going to be really cool, but hopefully having a great day over there as well, Josh. Pleasure to see you coming, coming through. Hopefully the microphone's not too bad. Just going to quickly test the microphone real quick. We'll just keep two seconds. Uh, just going to quickly have a quick check. Okay, right. Just going to go on to the kick sign. Let me go on to here. Right. Just going to go on to the kick sign. Let me go on to here. Okay, nice one. Right, the music's a little bit too loud. Right, we should be chilling now, guys. We should be all good. Let me just quickly go on to here real quick. Um, hey, we even got Braden dropping in saying stealing Adam's ideas. So now basically Braden, right? I think uh well, not even I think, but <laughs> um Timmy and Adam sold me. They said, hey, you gotta give it a try. You gotta try this out. And so you know what? We're giving it a try, bro. We're gonna see what it's like, you know. We're gonna we're gonna see how this challenge goes down, Braden. I think they even said to you as well, Braden, if, if you're interested in the challenge, for you to give it a try as well. I think you could honestly do pretty good man now adam's got on up to 42 with um with uh what's his name um uh timmy getting up to 57 which is insane josh this is i'm good bro thanks nice one josh glad to hear your day's going good today man that is good to hear for sure bro just gonna quickly put some tags on and then we should be ready to go guys should we we should be ready to roll damn i don't get this whole thing though about um uh note word pad have i got it all saved up no i don't okay that is peak um okay let me just quickly go into here real quick let me go into videos i don't get it they've kind of changed the um how can i say they've changed the layout of uh youtube streams and videos which is kind of annoying i will say but it definitely doesn't get in the way of this situation definitely doesn't get in the way but we should be all good of the less though, guys. Just going to quickly go there. Go into studio. And yeah, we're just going to put some tags on. But yeah, we're going to be doing some of the giant no gums, no AATs. Let's get it. I think it's going to be really cool as well. we have a good time on it for sure. Um, all right. Okay, let me just quickly copy all of these. Let's just quickly go on to there. Go on to here. Go on here. we got Kiddies though coming to the stream as well saying WA. Welcome to the stream as well, Kiddies. W in for sure, man going to be doing some black ops 3 it's going to be fun one for sure dude can have a good time in today's stream it's gonna be really cool but how are we doing today as well kiddies um heard i got gifted by strained i think yes yeah, strained had gifted you a member i think it was i think he gifted out a couple memberships and yeah it involved you it had who else it had a couple of other people that i don't really see much from the stream but yeah you isn't you had the member you know big w from strain though honestly what a legend right there from gifted now <laughs> That was genuinely a crazy stream yesterday, Josh. Honestly, it was it was a sick time for sure, man. Um, but yeah, honestly, the gifted like people gifting out the memberships, it is genuinely appreciated. No one has to do it as well. Like no one has to, you know. Brando says, "I'm just um, I'm just giving you a hard time. I've been uh, meaning to try it, dude. You gotta give it a try, man. I recommend it. So wait there, I've got a bloody phone call now. Wait there, probably for a job or something. Wait there."
Sorry, guys. Just we're gonna get a phone call again in about a minute, which hopefully shouldn't be too long. But we'll start up the game while we're waiting. It was a call for uh, an apprenticeship. So, yeah, that should be quite cool. Mike sounds good. Hey, that's good, Ben. Hopefully, I don't take too long to answer messages. I, I bet that was like about five minutes ago. Now, but hopefully, yeah, I do a free. So, that's good, though. Hey, we got Awanto coming in saying, yo, hey, welcome to the stream as well, Awant. Pleasure to see you coming to the stream. The goat dropping in. How are we doing today as well, Awant? Um, what's the more important? I got another phone call. I'm really sorry, guys. Wait there. Where is he? That foul, stinking, rotten German! He was here. Now he's gone? He will pay for what he has done. Mark my words.
Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Just had to just quickly do that. Didn't mean to uh, wait up so long. Do apologize for that, guys. Appreciate you guys' patience. Quickly just had to do something. Um, oh, God, we died. Okay, right. But, yeah, let's do the giant. My bad on that. Um, uh, let's have a look. What's more important? Girls, good taste. <laughs> nice ass. Oh, Ant says, though, I think the personality. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. My, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to take so long. I didn't expect a phone call for that. It was for an apprenticeship, but they said I need to um, look at some other things for that. But, yeah, let's get into the challenge. Hopefully all the sound is all good and stuff. Um, oh, funny, because I was thinking... Where is he? I was talking. That uh, has a great personality, but... Uh, but a uh, so, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, Mark my okay, right, but yeah, I think we could definitely do pretty good with this challenge. Who knows, though? I don't really know what this challenge is going to go down like, to be honest, but I think it could go quite interesting. We've got Rick Toffin, though, coming to the stream. He says, what's good, bro? The thumbs up. Hey, honestly, I do appreciate your patience, man. Glad to see you come to the stream, Rick Toffin. Hopefully, you're having a great day over there, man. Glad to see you come to the stream, bro. How are you doing today, man? Um, he's on a phone call, guys. Hey, honestly, thank you for saying that as well, Brian. Yeah, just... It was a phone call for an apprenticeship. Um... I don't think I've got the apprenticeship, though. It, they, uh... Yeah, it was just for a thing. Um, but... Hey, I probably gotta try and look more harder to find it. Pretty crazy, man. I've been looking, like, quite... Quite so many places now for... I don't know. Apprenticeships or jobs or... Um... What do you call it? Um, how can I say? Uh, what's the other one called? It's a... Uh, what's it called? It's a lesson. It's a course. So I remember I was going to... I seen an advert for a course. And it ended up saying I need to pay the minimum of £5,000 for this course. Like it was to do with AI and stuff. And I, I, I tried signing in either way. And they obviously they rejected me because I didn't have enough money for that. You know, but yeah, it was a little bit annoying. They did say it was for free though for training people or giving people advice. But yeah, I don't know. Um... Brandon though, Brandon, though, says job equals streaming, sadly. To be honest, if, if this is, like, I guess if, if people could say this is, like, a job, hey, man, honestly, this is, I mean, this is fun right here, you know? Don't mind this at all, you know what I mean? But, like, it would be nice um, having a, having, you know, having a good paying job and stuff, you know? Sounds like you don't have a ton of uh, options where you live for jobs. Nah, not really, man, not really. Like, I really wanted to add this weird, like, I don't know. So I, I guess I, re I really wanted to get an apprenticeship into, like, business and stuff. Like, I'd learned to, like, tried learning a little bit of it. I don't really know anything about it, but tried learning it a little bit. Um, and I think the, the closest apprenticeship course to me is, I think it's in, like, Birmingham, I think, which is really far away. Um, that's, like, 90 miles, which in the UK is quite far. And then I tried going on to a course for um, real estate. So I really wanted to go on for that. And, um, yeah, I just, I couldn't go there. I tried signing up for an apprenticeship for them, and that was in Northampton, and they said, no, you, you, basically, you lack the skill, <laughs> or you lack the, uh, you know. Hey, John being a member for three months, that's insane, dude. Thank you, John, I do appreciate that, man. Glad to see you come to the stream, man. How are you doing today, John? W's in the chat for John, though, coming in with a, uh, being a member, dude, you know. I'd say, John, for becoming a member, we do actually have some pretty fresh emojis, emojis, I should say, that you might enjoy, man. Um, hey, Goofy, though, says face cam. Hey, you already know, Goofy. We got the face cam on. We're giving it a try. You know, we're testing at shallow waters here. We're just seeing what it goes like, you know. But, hey, glad to see you coming to the stream, Goofy. Hopefully, having a great day over there, man. Pleasure to see you come to the stream, bro. Hell yeah, dude. And the thing that makes it even more interesting is we're on some giant. We're trying to do no gums and no AATs only. You know? <laughs> Face cam game. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. It's, it's kind of crazy. I mean, like, I don't know, seeing Braden do face cam or, um, like, give some names out there. Like, Evan do the phone face cam. That's really, you know, like, respectable. Um, Insomnia virus, like, Canadian. Uh, just everyone else do face cameras. It, it's like, oh, screw it. We'll give it a try. Money Viking E. You know? Um, <laughs> but yeah, how are you doing today, Goofy? As well as Rick Toffin. Hopefully both of you guys are doing good over there. I don't know if I already asked, you know? No way, dude. We got Goofy being a member for four months in the channel. That's crazy right there, man. Do appreciate it, bro. Hey, once again, W's in the chat for uh, Goofy. As well as Rick Toffin. 
for being a member too. Absolute legend right there, guys. I do appreciate it. Genuinely do thank for that, man. You know, got the fire emoji in the chat for a topic. You know? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hopefully, with becoming a member, um, you know, with us having some cool emojis on there, hopefully it's worth it. Yeah, no, hopefully it's worth it, I'd say. I really do wish when someone was to become a member, they could show their main sub goal and generate a, 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 a sub goal they can get, because then that would be like, oh, becoming a member, I can show what goal I want to get. That would be really cool. Um, AG got that <laughs> nice emote. <laughs> That's the only thing we got at the moment. We just got emotes, you know. It'd be nice having um, a bit more to give back. You know, that would be nice right there, you know. Like a good, like, uh, you know, uh, one to two way thing, you know, that would be nice, but <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense, but <laughs> and then Braden coming in. <laughs> oh man. Immortal no coming into the street, kind of the positivity. Though says face cam and now the microphone sounds better. Hey man, honestly, I think what could be better than today? I, I don't think anything that could be better than today with having a fresh mic audio. For, I guess the, the the decent camera quality for the mic, you know, things are looking pretty good, man. Glad to see you come to the stream as well, Immortal. Hopefully, your day is going swift full over there as well, my man. And Immortal becoming a member as well. That is insane, dude. Four people becoming a member in the channel. <laughs> None of you guys have to do that. <laughs> thank you as well, Immortal. I genuinely do appreciate that, man. I can't thank enough for that, bro. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you for that, dude. I do appreciate it. Uh, we got been showing the emojis. Yeah, we got the oh yeah one. We got the... I don't want to sound sarcastic. We got the ha 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 one. <laughs> I guess the laughing one, um, which is pretty good. Um, it, it'd be cool to try and... I don't know. It'd be sick, right, to have some moving emojis. I don't know if I ever bring them to YouTube. Right now, they've just got ones that just don't really move and stuff, which is kind of annoying, but it would be so sick if you could generate moving emojis, you know? Um, Braden is showing off all the emojis right there. We got some nice ones. We got some, I guess, I, I don't even know you could call them OG, but we've got some old ones, you know, ones that we've, we've kept, OG ones, ones that we've kept since the beginning. You know, the, the one guy with his middle finger up and the, uh, the guy that says, hey, you, you know? Uh, Nebby, though, coming to the stream as well, dropping in. He says, can you get a PNG thumbnail of Ultimus Pack-A-Punch animation? See, the thing is with these emojis, Nebula, like, it, it would be awesome to generate, like, some really cool-looking emojis. The reason, I guess, if we were to do that, um, I don't know if it might look a bit too small, because when you upload an emoji, it has to be 32 by 32 bit, and that's the main issue with them. Like, I mean, imagine if you could have, like, a picture of, like, Kino, the, I don't know, no, that would be kind of weird. Like, I don't know, the transit bus, you know, you would think, oh, that would be really cool as an emoji, but it wouldn't uh, show as much because the emoji is 32 by 32 bits, quite a small emoji. Um, is your favourite colour red, AG? Ooh, colour red. Ah, I don't know, red's a nice colour, but you know what? I, I don't really know what favourite colour is, to be fair, Braden. It would... <sighs> I think the most colour I really wear would have to probably be, like, the shade black. I do like to wear a lot of, like, black and stuff. It's quite just simple. You know, it's simple and stuff. Got black boots. Got, um, got a black jumper. You know, but I don't know. If, if it's in terms of, like, a vibrant colour, I don't know, man. Red's definitely out there. I couldn't, I couldn't pick. I'm very indecisive at times. But I guess, hey, bro, I guess for any of you guys, what would you guys say your favourite colour is? Um... You know, like what, like what colour of shoes would you wear on any day out, you know? Or what, what would your favourite colour be on a car or something, you know? Nice, time of the stream. Oh yeah, do appreciate as well, Tesmundo. Thank you, man. Dude, I'm telling you, bro, this this is either going to be... This is not even even going to be... This is going to be torture right here, my friend. This is going to be torture for sure, bro. I don't know what this is going to be like, Tesmundo, but we're going to give it a try, man. You know what I mean? But glad to see you come to the shim as well, Tez. How are you doing today, bro? Hopefully you're having a great, great day over there, man. Um, how, uh, how are you, AG? Yeah, it's been a good day, I'd say. It's been a good day. Just been chilling, really. Um, yeah, what, what did I do? Not really much, to be fair. Had a meeting at Universal Credit. And then after that, yeah, just, just chilled out and stuff. Got ready for the stream, really. But yeah, it's been a good day, man. It's been a good day. 
Um, Immortal though says it's only a dollar. I, I, I don't know, but I, even if it's like a dollar as well, you know, I appreciate it as, uh, you know, 10 out of 10, you know, even if it's a dollar and stuff, you know, so I do appreciate all from you guys, you know, do appreciate it, man. Um, as one of those says, is that a members only thing, like fans only? Oh, so I guess the emojis that Braden and Rick Toffin had showed, uh, showed up, um, they, I guess, to be able to obtain them and show them in the chat, yes, you have to become a member. I wouldn't say you have to become a fan, because, like, I, I don't know, many just see as, like, nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, like, fan, but, like, just, like, becoming a member and stuff, but I will say, it, like, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, so, like, I, I wouldn't, like, recommend for people to become a member, I, I don't know, like, I, you know, like, no one has to pay in order to, like, uh, like, be, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I don't know. But yeah, you have to uh, pay to become a member. That's basically what I'm trying to say. But no one has to. No one has to. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Apocalypse though says, yo, I will enjoy this one. I like Der Rintz. Hey, yo, Der Rintz, dude. I mean, I don't know if this is Der Rintz. This might be the giant, but Der Rintz. Is Der Rintz like a warded out version of Der Rintz? <laughs> Nah, but hey, pleasure to see Apocalyptic though coming to the stream as well. Yeah, we're going to be giving it a try, man. We're going to give it a try, Apocalyptic. We're going to see if we can try and do, what, no gums and no AATs this stream. See what we can try and do, you know? Uh, do you want the last two scary strikes after this? Oh, might be able to, Apocalyptic. Might be able to, man. I'll kind of see. I, I, I should be able to be free after. I don't know if I might have to be, like, learning some stuff or whatever, but I might be able to be. I might be able to. You know, Pocket with those says also turns out there are hidden Easter eggs out in the map because in the uh, in in the stats there is a section called secret endings. I have zero out of four. Oh, okay, that's quite interesting, Apocalyptic. So there's actually there's not just normal Easter eggs you can complete and you can yeah you can complete. There are secret endings within the Easter eggs that you can complete. Probably a secret doorway you can go into. Probably even a secret cutscene that you can see. You, that's actually really interesting, you know? He was clutching it as well when we was um, playing yesterday, man. He was doing clutch. Oh, we need some Breaking Bad emojis, dude. That would be kind of interesting. Never seen Breaking Bad, but I know Breaking Bad is like an all-time high when it comes to people talking about it. Like, everyone's on about Breaking Bad. You got the main characters of... What's his name? Walter? You know, the, the, the guy that's like bold and stuff. We've got the Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> I think that's his name. Which is pretty cool. But yeah, it'd be cool to have some Breaking Bad emojis. Anything that's good for... Our, emoji that's good for a reference or... You know, something to do with zombies. Just anything, really. Just anything. That'd be cool. Um, nice face, AJ. <laughs> hey, I do appreciate Motor Medical. Glad to see you come to the stream as well, man. Oh yeah, dude, we're rocking at the old face camera room. Things looking pretty good, man. Glad to see you come to the stream as well, bro. How are you doing today, Mr. Motivator? Hope you're having a great day over there, man. You're playing some GTA today. You're playing any Fallout 4? Either way, hopefully it's going well. Is this die rise? This has to be die rise. This has to be die rise. I mean, the buildings aren't so high this time, but either way, you know, like, I don't know. You know? <laughs> I mean, I've never heard of a map called Der Rintz. <laughs> um, you look so American. Really? I look American? Oh, yeah, dude. I I guess I guess I can now classify as an American. <laughs> nah, that would be a little bit weird. <laughs> um, I'm good, pal. No, it's Wednesday, man. That's good to hear, man. Glad to hear he's going good today, man. You know. Hey, it's Wednesday. You can't really complain, bro. You know? But I guess, I mean, talk about this challenge, guys. I don't know what we're going to... What round we could try and surpass. But if we're doing no gums and no AATs, I have no clue what this is going to be like. No clue, to be honest. But I think, you know... I think I think we can get some stuff done here. We could probably try and train in the STG room or the KN44 room. Or potentially do the starting room for a train. Or even do the thing that Evan did where he camped upon the catwalk, which I have no clue what that's going to be like, to be honest. That's either going to be really easy or really difficult, you know? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Brain though says, this is BO3 The Reese, basically. Yeah, basically the remastered. Re I guess you could say, yeah, remastered or reimagined version of The Reese, but on Black Ops 3. I don't know if it'd be reimagined, but the only reason why I'd think it would be is because you've got 
um, snow rather than non-snow. Because there are recent have snow, if I'm correct. You know? I don't know. I'm pretty sure reimagined is where something is renovated or, or, or changed. Um, basically, like, with different areas and stuff, you know? Hey, we even have Fafner coming to the stream. says, yo, what is up? I see you went for a face feed. Yeah, yeah. So, I guess we're giving it a try. We're giving it a try, Fafner. Who knows? You know, this might be the main thing. This might not be. You know, we're just giving it a try, I'd say, man. Um, I mean, so far, things are going pretty good, you know? Not, not expecting a ton out of using face cam. Just uh, just trying to, I guess, like, uh, just see what it's like and stuff, you know. But glad to see you come to the shoe as well, Fafner. Hopefully, you're having a great day over there. Uh, we're on some giant at the moment as well, bro. Where we, you, where we can't use no gums or AATs, which is going to be quite tricky. But I'm going to say it's for sure possible, you know. I want BO, Immortal though says, I want BO free, but it's full price for like 9 to 10 years old game. I know, it's honestly ridiculous, Immortal. Like, I don't understand why they're still making these games full price. I mean, it's understandable in the way of like, I don't know, if you look at it because the game's so popular, it, it, it the game's very good, you know, that's why they're probably selling it for that much, and it's done amazing, you know? They put, you've probably still got people buying BO3 to this day. I wouldn't know how much people, how many people are buying it, but I'm going to guess like 100 people a month, probably. The game's probably that popular, Wait, you know? Um, but, I mean, either way, I think they should still make... Though the game is 10 years old, 9 to 10 years old, they should make the game a lot cheaper. I mean, it's, it's gone to the point now where it's just like, damn, man. You know? Um, you know, the game's getting old. I think they even lowered the price down for World at War, I think. Which is good. World at War is good. It's good that World at War is a, uh, is a lower price now. You know? Oh, cool. Brian though says, Immortal, uh, just put it on your website, on a wish list, and it will email you when it goes on sale. I guess, yeah. That's a good... I guess I guess that's a good plan right there. I mean, you'll literally be notified as soon as the game becomes, you know, lower price and stuff. It'll help out. It won't, you won't have to, I don't know, risk missing the sale once again. Should get all the maps for 36 pounds. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad price. You know, I don't know. Out of all the CODs they've got that are full price, I mean, I'm talking World at War, BO1, BO2, uh, you know. <sighs> BO3 would probably have to be the one that is worth the money it is. Now, I mean, I don't think they'll ever lower the price out for BO3 because BO3 has... Damn, you're kidding me. Another phone call. BO3 has customs, custom ups available. I just got to answer this phone call as well, guys. I'm genuinely sorry. This doesn't happen all the time. Wait there.
Yeah, so sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to do that again. It's just a phone call and stuff. Um, I might go for some Skurs long run. Oh, that'd be pretty cool, man. I know with Skur as well, Immortal, you can actually get it with some pretty good rounds as well, dude. Um, because the rounds don't take as long as, like, normal card. It's actually quite... I wouldn't say it's simple, but it seems like it's, it's a bit like World at War, but I guess different in a way, which is kind of, kind of cool, you know? Um, <laughs> hey, thank you, Motivator. He says, if you have the best background ever. I mean, you have a dark board, a dart board. I never see those. Ah, oh, dude, yeah, I got the dart board in the background. I never use these things, but yeah, I got the, wait there. Got the dart board in the background. <laughs> um, I don't know if we'll ever, like, try and get, like, a green screen. I don't really know, but <laughs> yeah. There should be some more darts on there. There should be some more darts. But yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It's... In a bit of a small room, but hopefully, I don't know if the future will ever be us like moving out and stuff, but hopefully things will be a bit more renovated then. That'll be kind of cool, man. You know, but I <laughs> do appreciate it. Even though it says, hi, hey, welcome to the show result, Ethan. Glad to see you coming in, my bad. I do appreciate you being patient and stuff. How are you doing today, though, Ethan? We're talking about Black Ops 3, but there's a catch. We can only use Gobblegums. No, we can't use Gobblegums, and we can't use AATs. It's kind of difficult, you know? Um, hey, th hey, I do appreciate it as well, Ben, honestly. appreciate you guys understand it was not expecting to get, like, that phone call at that time. I normally don't, normally don't really answer phone calls all the time, so, um, just been missing a lot of phone calls recently, so it's kind of important that, you know, need to answer them and stuff. Um, is Skur more than, uh, is Skur, is Skur more than Solo? So, Braden, with Skur, you can play Solo quite fun. Like, playing Solo is actually quite fun on Skur Ritual, as well as you can play with other players too. The game, when with the playing solo and um, public players, you can do the Easter egg on both sides, both modes, and it's it's genuinely a fun experience. It's it's kind of like a crossbreed, I would say, with BO with zombies, obviously. I'll probably say like, I don't know, yeah, zombies. Can't really say what type of zombies, but mixed that, mixed with, I guess you could say, Killing Floor, I think. I remember playing a bit of Killing Floor, but it feels a bit like that. Which is quite fun. With its own kind of style, yeah, right? its own originality. But some of the Wonder Weapons literally look like the Wonder Wolf. Or have a looks of a Wonder Wolf, which is kind of cool, you know? We've got Evan, though, coming to the stream as well, saying, What's up, bro? Welcome to the stream as well, Evan. Glad to see you coming to the stream as well, man. How are we doing today, bro? Hopefully, you're having a great day over there, man. We're trying a bit of a giant. We're trying to do no gums and no AATs. We haven't done a challenge like... I don't think we've ever done a challenge like this where we can't use AATs as well. We're going to be giving it a try. We're going to see what it's like and stuff, man. But how are you doing today, Evan? Are you doing a stream later on tonight, man? Have you got any stream plans later on today? Let's have a quick look. Um, it's crazy how I just changed the title of the video and it would take off. You know what? It, it really is weird how... Because I've, I've recently been doing that as well, man. And it does it does benefit. Like, you would change the title of it and it's like it re-uploads. Like, even if you change a small part of it, um, you know, like, for example, the transit video, although it kind of got a, I wouldn't say a bit of hate, but I don't know, a bit of, like, criticism and stuff, which is fine. Um, it, like, I think it started off to, like, 40, and then it was 100, and then, like, I changed the title to something else, and the next day it went up to, a, you see, 1,000, which was, you know, really nice and stuff, really humbled for that, you know, but... Yeah, it's it, it's it's weird how you've you was able to find that out, you know. I'm doing good, no, I see from that's good to wear, man. I'm glad he day's going good for the day, man. That is a W for sure. Um I'm super sure. Um I'm I'm super sure what an AAT is. Yeah, dude, AAT's L oh. So um alternative ammo types and model. I guess if anyone doesn't know what that is, it's like, you know, dead wire or fireworks, or, you know, turned, blast furnace, um, the main upgrade you would get on your guns when you would pack it a second time, that's what an AAT is, I, I don't know if you guys already knew that, but yeah, AAT, so we can't use them, as well as we can't use no gobble gums, so, you know, if we get cornered, we can't use in plain sight, you know, if we're low on points, we can't use an extra credit. It, it just won't work, you know? 80s dead wire turned fireworks. Yeah, best way of putting it, Faction Brain. Just basically dead wire turned fireworks, blast furnace. 
a Thunder Wall, which is kind of a crappy AAT, but, you know, not a bad AAT. I'm doing pretty good, bro. You? Yeah, it's been a good day, haven't it? It's been a good day, man. Just been chilling for the day, bro. Can't, can't really complain much, I'd say, man. It's been pretty good. Hell yeah, man. Basically makes any gun OP. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of is like... I don't know. If you want to do high rounding on BO3, it, it, it... We'll definitely say it's the key things to use when you're doing a high round on BO3. BO4 has AATs, but uh, it's not really that good, you know? BO3, you need to have an AAT. You just have to. You can't... You, like, traps on BO3 are very useful, but at the same time... It's just not as useful as you would expect, you know? So it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird with AATs. Kind of curious, though. Should we... I don't know. Could we get a gun? Um, let's have a quick look. We could probably try and get a gun from the box. Or... Let's have a look. Um, Skur looks fine, I'm not going to lie. Dude, honestly, Skur Ritual, it... I feel like it's going to have a great future for sure, Richtoff. And, like, the game is going to come out... Uh, you know, it's kind of sad that the game's already came... Like, the betas came out, and it's not gained as much popularity is it i would personally say it should do i mean i don't know imagine if skur became like um x defiant did you know how that game was like looked at as the the card killer you know um yeah if that were to if skur were to be like that then i think dude it would just be so cool to see man it would generally be awesome to see you know um is skur worth getting though oh fafna would <laughs> You know what? I would say if you if you play COD Zombies quite a bit, Fafna. Like if you're a, if you're a Zombies player, and you feel like you enjoy other games that are similar to COD Zombies, whether you stream it or just play it on, you know, just in your free time, um, I would say yeah, it's worth it. But if if you're in, if you're kind of into zombie games or games like Call of Duty Zombies. But then uh, into other games like Grand Theft Auto, Forza, Horizon, or whatever it is, Far Cry, then it might just be another side game for you. You know, I don't know if that makes any sense. It might, yeah, it might just be another side game for you, man. What should we get? Should we get Double Tap? I don't really know. See, this is the weird thing. Normally, would be used to just getting a Gobble Gun from the machine, and then that's it. But we've got to kind of think smart here, you know? We've got a good amount of points. I don't think wasting Pack-A-Punch is going to be a an option. Like, we don't really need to get Pack-A-Punch. It's only round 10. You know? Um, Richtofen, though, says, if 2024 card zombies flops, that game might be the new way. It might be, Richtofen. It really might be. I mean, I, I, if they genuinely have another flop for, um, for Gulf War to come out, like, I don't know what it's going to be like, dude. I just, I feel like people are going to be satisfied even if they just see round-based involved. And decent maps, like, they can't keep remastering maps. I know, like, obviously all of us can agree, like, yeah, it would be awesome to see an Origins remaster or a Mob of the Dead remaster, but would it, like, I don't know, would it really? I don't know. I feel like they need to just make original maps, like, maps that they haven't made before. Bring that curiosity out, you know? Um, <laughs> hey, thank you, Ben. I do appreciate it, man. Hey, Ben and Gifted out one AG membership in the channel. That is insane, dude. What an absolute legend right there, man. Thank you, Ben. I do appreciate that, bro. W's in the chat for the legend, Braden. And he's gifted out to GCMX. Honestly, a constant viewer that comes in. That, that is genuinely really helpful. Thank you, Ben. I genuinely do appreciate that, bro. Do appreciate it, man. <laughs> there might be modding um, for PC on scares. If there is modding for, P uh, for Skur Ritual on the PC as well, if they were to do it on PC, but let's just look at PC, I guess. If they were to do it on PC, um, that would be interesting, man, you know, seeing people make modded maps and stuff. Like, dude, that'd be kind of cool, you know? That'd be kind of cool, man. Now, if they do it on console, dude, everyone, like, that might be, that might be their advantage, their gateway right to actually getting uh how can i say more popularity on the game more people coming over and probably thinking this game's better than old war or vanguard zombies definitely not gonna say it's better than i don't know i haven't played the game enough to say but like would probably still say i would rather play bo1 than scur ritual bo2 or bo3 or even bo4 but you know i don't know the game the game might come out and it, who knows hopefully they don't do the same thing as X to fight did and you know sadly 
take too long to come out and stuff because that will be a bit of an issue right there. But who knows though, man? Who knows? Um, Fafnir says, I love the COD Zombies. Um, I, I love COD Zombies. I grew up on it, but I've just been playing Warzone and Dead Island recently. And a little bit of Assassin's Creed. Oh, okay, that's fair, man. I, I feel where you're coming from there. Like, you love the game. If there's a new game of COD that comes out, especially Zombies, you're playing it. No matter what. Even if the price is... I don't even know. Double the price is normal price. Because Activision wants to go deep in our pockets. <laughs> you know? You're still playing. That's fair. I think then, bro. I would say, Fafna, you might enjoy... Yeah, I think you will enjoy Skur Ritual. The play style, actually, to give you some more interesting thoughts, the, the play style of Skull Ritual is actually quite different. Um, it's not like Call of Duty, in my opinion. It, it, again, it kind of like... I don't know what the game would be like, Skull Ritual. The training is different, I would say. It's not completely different, but it's you can tell the difference, obviously. Um, they can keep remastering. I will play it i will play eternity see it would be nice honestly though it would be cool to see like mob of the dead remaster a die rise remaster you know that would be really cool but i just like it's, it's a bit like coming back to rebirth i like you know how rebirths came out everyone before rebirth 2 came out everyone was so excited um like one of my mates was and he hasn't really spoken about Rebirth ever, ever since that it, when it came out and stuff. But even if they did this, if they remastered maps and make original maps, that would still be cool as well. That would be awesome, you know? So they're bringing back some nostalgia as well as some bringing back some originality, you know? Uh, uh, is it originality where they make a new map that's not remastered? I don't know. I think that's the name for it. Immortal, though, says, If Gulf War sucks ass, COD is cooked. Because, I mean, that was four years of development. Yeah. Apparently, they spent a lot of time of development on that game, which I feel like they say with a lot of games. They say, what do they say on, I don't know, like, they say that with some games. Like, they say, oh, we spent a lot of time with making this game and that game and, you know. And then some games that they say that on becomes to be a bit of a flop, you know. But, yeah, they, they can't mess up on Golf War. They just can't. I mean, it's simple. Just make a fun, fun mode. Don't. I think they need to tune down the skill-based matchmaking. I mean, that is like one of the key things that people dislike about COD is the skill-based matchmaking. Lower the crates or the the bundles. I think like the bundles can be, can be okay, but it's just the way they. The way they sell the bundle, like apparently if you buy a bundle, I don't actually know this for certain, but apparently if you buy a bundle, you get put into easier lobbies. I've said this already, like, said, said this already in the stream and stuff, like, I don't know if that is the case, but if that is, like, they need to stop that, because that's just weird. You know, like, who? No! You're kidding me, dude. You know, I've seen that guy run, and he literally just blocked me through the corner, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I can't imagine Gulf War being worse than Cold War. See, I mean, that's another thing. Like, if, if they make if they make Gulf War just like... Oh, shit, dude. If they make Gulf War just like Cold War, it's going to be... Like, it's... It's it's not going to last at all. It's probably going to last less than a week in terms of people enjoying it, you know? Um, try reinstalling. Oh, my bad. Oh, Anslo says, my BO2 keeps crashing. I'm just going to play BO3. Um, hmm... Rain says, try reinstalling or updating Plutonium. I've never had an issue with Plutonium. Yeah, normally with Pluto, I don't know. Like, I haven't really had an issue with it. I don't know what it could be. I, uh, hmm. I know there is a setting I'm pretty sure you can have where you can have an option where Plutonium automatically updates for you. And if you don't have that option on, I think it can mess up. Apparently, I, I think that's the case though. I don't know for sure though. You know, face cam again. Yeah, yeah. And so we're giving it a try. I'd find you just give it a try with the face cam. Yeah, no, we're gonna see what it's like and stuff, man. But yeah, we're, we're just testing and stuff. You know, just gonna see, just go with the flow. You know, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. But glad to see you come to the stream, Wildfire. How are you doing today, man? Hopefully, hope you're having a great Wednesday over there, dude. Pleasure to see you coming by to the stream. And so maybe we're trying to upgrade the graphics card. It could be that as. Oh, no, one says it's up to date. Hmm. Me and Omadi have been having the same problem. That is really weird. I don't get why it's... I guess I don't get what you guys are having this issue. If 
if it helps out, Strained had an issue with his plutonium as well as um, Apocalyptic. I don't know if Strained and Apocalyptic would, would, uh, is still on the stream, but they could probably tell you about it. Yeah, they had they had an issue where their, I think their plutonium was messing up on them, which was kind of annoying, you know? Um, me and Amadi, I know, both our games crash when someone leaves. When someone leaves, that is weird, okay. So it's something to do with, you know, obviously being into an online game. Um, and like, you know, obviously someone leaving. Have you tried, I don't, I mean, you've probably already done this before. I think you did it yesterday. Like, I don't know if completely deleting BO2 plutonium, but, uh, like completely like refreshing plutonium, like deleting all the files probably. Um, could it be you guys are using a VPN by any chance? Could it be that? I know plutonium can sometimes affect the that. Daphne says, damn, I know, did, did you see that zombie? That guy ran. That guy sprinted at us, dude. Like, that was not no normal run. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We've got around 7,000 at Point of Rouge, guys. Let's try and go to the box and see what we can try and get, you know? I don't think AG realises Adam and Timmy ran this challenge without revive. Wait, really? Oh. You're kidding me. Dude, they ran it without a revive as well? Dude, What? That's crazy. Um, all right. I, oh, God, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know if we could, uh, I guess we could try and slip it under the hood. You know, we could try and slip it under the rug. We never went down. We never went down. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting some poopy guns right now, guys. I don't, I just want to try and do one more thing. Graphics, do, uh... Oh, but the brightness is already all the way up. Would that affect the stream? Hopefully that doesn't. I guess this area might be pretty good. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to copy the same area. No, dude. Not that gun. No. Come on. Give us a better gun. Hey, Mafio Bildo dropping into the stream saying, whoop. Hey, you already know, dude. Welcome into the stream, Mafio Bill. How are we doing today, man? We're on a bit of Black Ops 3 zombies. And we're on some giant. Giant. We're on some giant. And yeah, we're going to give it a try. We're doing no... Oh, my bad. We're doing no gums and no AATs. Which is pretty good. But how are you doing today, man? Hope you're having a great day over there. How are we doing today? I've probably asked that like three times now. Dracon is okay. Yeah, the Dracon, it's not too bad, you know. We're definitely going to be dealing some good damage with the Dracon. I think at this point, it's just it's just training and upgrading. If we do get the Wonder Wolf, we're set. If we get the Reagan, we're set. You know, we're not doing too bad. Probably even getting Mule Kick might have been a benefit, to be fair. But again, it's no Gobble Gums. We've already got four points. We can't be using any Gobble Gums for this, you know. <laughs> Um, BO3 guns are ill. Yeah, the BO3 guns. I don't know. They're, like, I guess the ICR's all good. The ICR's a good weapon. Um, the HVK's pretty cool. But, like, I'm just not really a big fan of, like, the, the KRM. Or, I don't know. Just mainly, like, some of the SMGs, you know. I love the remasters that they brought on for BO3, though. The remasters, like, the remastered guns are awesome. You know, you can't go wrong with them, man. Damn, Nightbot's just giving out every type of thing, you know? Um, oh, but yeah, actually, yeah, if you guys are interested, we are streaming on Kick as well. So if anyone hasn't checked us out over there and you guys do watch Kick, I recommend it, you know? We're on the zombie side. We're on the Kick side of Zombies 2. You don't really see much people stream zombies on Kick, so I guess it's kind of cool. It's kind of unique, I guess. I don't really know if it's unique, but, you know... Feel free to pop by, though. I feel like BO2 zombies swing uh, really fast. No, oh, no, BO3 zombies? Yeah, with the, the zombies AI and BO3, Brayden, I guess they're a little bit more smarter than the BO2 zombies and BO1, and especially World at War zombies, you know? It's, it's... I guess, like, when they were bringing the game out, they wanted to make the zombies just a bit more challenging for the player, which is fair, to be honest, you know, and they've done a good job with it, you know? I think, like, the the most annoying thing that can that you can come across on BO3 zombies is whenever you try and go through a small gap that you can normally do on BO1 or BO2, but you do it on BO3, and the zombies just block you away, and you're like, no way, dude. I can't believe that. 
I just can't believe that, man. <laughs> you know? Sorry about the greedy part. Okay, I don't know if this would be a good area for a tra uh, for training. I feel like probably... I probably feel like going around here might be a good area, potentially. Who knows, though? Who knows? Um, let's just quickly just go through here real quick. Nice one. Not too bad so far. Um, HVK feels weak to me. Really? The HVK? I don't... Ah, I guess... I don't know. I feel like the HVK feels like the most modern version of the HVK or probably the the Argus. Is it the Argus? Yeah, the Argus. But um, some BO3 guns, I guess, like the Pharaoh. It's fair to be weak, but that gun's pretty weak. The Haymaker, it's all right. You know, it's not too bad. Jaden <laughs> says, shut the bug up, Nightbot. I will time you out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, Nightbot is just... I mean, how many messages? Nightbot is spamming. We should give a warning for Nightbot. I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing, Nightbot? <gasps> oh, great. Hey, nice one. Um, we actually got the Wonder Wolf. That's really, really good right there, guys. That's really good. Hell yeah. Josh, though, says, just looked at your kick chat. People have no chill. Oh, dude, tell me about it, man. There was one guy. I don't know if it still shows the message. If it is, then I... Oh, yeah, it is still showing the message. I'm sorry for that. I will sort that out right now, dude. Yeah. Just leave about that. I don't know who the hell that guy was, but he came in. Um, Killer Toy 975. Yeah, just ignore him. I, tr I think I banned him from the thing. Proper weird, man. Sorry about that, guys. We don't have that kind of stuff over there. I did ban him. I don't know why it still showed the messages. Sorry about that, though. Um, who's, who's all in here watching? At the moment, I can't see any of the count. I don't know why YouTube's just changed their, 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 um, their main menu in terms of seeing a stream. I can't see the numbers or the likes, which is a little bit annoying, but hey, it's all cool. It's all cool. I'm, I'm enjoying it. But I guess, hey, talking about, you know, enjoying it. If you guys are having a good time, you know, watching the stream having to join it and stuff feel free to hit the like and subscribe it would be much appreciated for the channel's growth we're getting quite close to 1.3k which is awesome uh, it's awesome to see guys you know um if we could try and get up to i'm gonna guess up to 15 likes in the chat i don't know how many likes are on but if, get, if, we're, if we're near 15 likes guys we get up to there so that's only if you guys are enjoying it though hey we even got strained as well dropping into the stream says who, uh, AG? Hell yeah, dude. He says, yeah. Uh, it is strange. Yeah, the one and only Strained Games. Mr. Strained coming into the stream. Welcome to the stream stream. How are we doing today? Hopefully having a great day over there, though, man. Glad to see you coming to the stream. Um, I have Black Ops, one of my Xbox. Oh, see, you know, the, the classic cards on the Xbox are quite cool. Never played them before. Immortal, but um, I think I've seen a video about like you know what the uh, what, what the games the lobbies are like on the uh, like the Xbox ones for uh, Call of Duty, the classic one, the classic cards, and um, yeah, they, I think someone made a video about it and they said basically the lobbies are still has still got quite a lot of people playing the classic cards like BO1, BO2 especially, you know, which is good to see, man. I don't know though, it, are there any like um, hackers or cheaters Immortal on the xbox uh like on, on, on the classic cards on the xbox servers on the xbox console sorry are they like cheaters on there or you totally mod me okay you know it was actually i was actually um gonna actually go on to do that and then i actually forgot about it but you know what i guess for a for a first mod you know i guess to keep things all classy and well yeah to, to take a first step yeah sure you know um we've got you model we got you i don't even know how to, how to actually add you know what, that's, that's the thing. To add mods, you need to go on to... All right, let me do this right now. So let me go into here. Let me go into kick. Um, and yeah, let me just show this. So yeah, we'll actually do that, I'd say. We'll do that. Let me go into settings. Let me go into... God, how do I do this? Um, uh, moderators. There we go. I think the only moderator we've got is Bot Ricks, which is just... Uh, I forgot that was uh, for a mod. Can I... Just copy and paste. Copy. Uh, search. Paste. There we go. And then I can add you as a mod. So I... Hopefully that was a mod. Let me just do that again. Strain those says... Um, 
Oh no, my bad. Okay, let me just quickly. Oh shit. Okay. Let me just go into paste. Let me go into here. Let me go into ads. There we go. Right. Okay. Now with being a modern stuff, obviously, like, you know, just if there's anyone that says anything racist or anything like that in the chat. You know, just try and sort it out and stuff, man. Um, so modding, it's almost like a last. That's so sort of good, honestly. I, it's definitely not no like a like commitment or anything. I don't want it to feel like that. It's just you know, if 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 Kick ends up having, um, you know, a little hub there or a group, um, I guess that would be helpful for people to potentially you know mod there and stuff. I will be honest though, Mordor, there is not much people that come in on the kick side, which is understandable because, you know, they, they don't even have tags on kick, which is surprising. They don't even have tags on kick. Um, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. And I'm glad to see you back into the stream, man. Hell yeah, bro. We're chilling. We're chilling on the giant still. We're not doing too bad so far. I feel like the Reagan is not doing too bad. It's not doing too bad, I'd say. And I'm glad to see you back into the stream, Evan. Hell yeah, bro. Nice. We're not too bad so far. Bro, someone needs to make Nightbot. <laughs> Dude, Nightbot, man. He's helpful with Nightbot. It's helpful at times when he's showing messages like, you know, check out this, check out that. But I probably need to try and change the title. That's probably on my bad, guys. Probably need to change the, uh, the timer for it. Modding experience. <laughs> nah, it's all cool. I'd say the only kind of experience for like modern stuff is just, uh, you know, just. I don't know, not like trolling or anything. Nah, I'm just being chill, you know, I don't know. Uh, Nightbots left. Dude, Nightbots just left the chat, man. What the hell? Just be mature? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Just be mature. Like, not everyone, like, uh, like, obviously, you know, just be yourself and stuff. Just be yourself, but, um, don't, like, I don't know. Like, just, yeah, like, no, like, racial things. I know you, none of you guys would say that, but, you know, just the normal things you'd have to say and stuff. Chill on, Brayden. Okay, right. Round 18 so far, guys. Things are looking pretty good so far, hopefully. Oh, okay, this is going to be kind of sketchy. I'm not going to lie, but we should be all good, though. We should be all good. Nice one. Now, I don't know if actually using the trap might be a good idea, to be fair. I have no clue in using this trap, but hey, screw it. We'll give it a try. This might be a spot right here, man. This might be the spot. Oh, my God. Okay, right. Nice, we're not too bad. Edgy looks, uh, Edgy look, Braden spanked tonight. <laughs> Nightbrot deserved it. He did unspeakable things, Nightbrot did, you know? <laughs> Don't worry. The Wonder Waffle will stay goaded, dude. It will. It will indeed. Apocalyptic. The Wonder Waffle is definitely going to help us throughout this, man. You know, it's going to for sure be uh, a good Wonder Weapon to use. Like, if, we're, if there's a horde in front of us, we just shoot it, bam, it stuns them, it kills them. You know, that's going to help us out significantly in that situation, which is going to be good right there. I think the loadout we've got is great. Not the loadout, but the class that we've got is great, you know? Um, Roger, though, coming in, says, what's up, AG? You know what is really amazing? Join the stream and seeing this image of you. The screen, uh, <laughs> the screen wearing your Neo sunglasses from the Matrix on it. It re <laughs> as if reality is too bright for you. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, bro. If I were to take off these glasses, everything would to be white. Like, let me try and test it right now. Yeah, everything is just way too bright. So it's a little bit of a, how can I say, a bit difficulty wearing these glasses, but. You know, it doesn't, it definitely doesn't uh, stop me from playing the game. <laughs> but there we are, man. Glad to see you coming to the stream as well, Frederick. Yeah, we're fun. I guess we'll give it a show of face cam. We're seeing what it's like. Yeah, no, it's having a bit of fun with it. Because now it's, look, it's feeling real fun. You know, having a good time and stuff. But um, how are we doing today, Frederick? Hopefully, you're having a wonderful Wednesday morning over there, bro. <laughs> We're on a bit of the giant, man. We're doing um, no guns and no AATs, but I don't know if you've seen this challenge before. I think Adam and Timmy has done this. That's where we got it from. They told us to give it a try. But nah, 
Hopefully, hopefully the camera quality isn't too, like, I don't know, rough or too bad. Hopefully it's all good. Still getting used to it a little bit. Still getting used to it a little bit. Nice one. Okay, not too bad. Right, pretty good so far. Um, Frederick Rogers. <laughs> I mean, with these glasses, I feel like training in there is a little bit sketchy, if I'm going to be honest. But, I mean, it's manageable. It's manageable. I just don't really know. Was training in there be okay? See, no, I can see. I can see. Definitely not blinded by these glasses. I, do, I don't know what BO1 is going to be like, you know? Oh, on the kick side, though. If one of those says, yeah. I first go to uh, to for the 10 mins, so depending on what they say. Um, remember, Johnny Somali streamed on kick, and before he got arrested, there was like, oh, yeah, that guy, oh, God. See, that guy did some not-so-good stuff. Let's just say that, man. That sounded, like, pretty offensive, what he did, man. I mean, I don't know, going to a different country and saying that kind of stuff? Like, what? Uh... Either got massive balls or just completely dumb, stupid for someone to do that, you know. But yeah, that, that's a good thing as well, model. You know, just giving them a warning. Do appreciate, man. Do appreciate it. I, I, I think I think it could do pretty good in the future in terms of the kick sides. It should be all good. I've got some good force for it. Um, we're in the Matrix, guys. We are, you know, in in the Matrix. In the Matrix, you're playing the giant, you know. <laughs> You play the giant apparently on the Matrix. We <laughs> never heard of that one before, but yeah. <laughs> oh, fire sale. Ooh, don't mind if I do. I must hurry. Cheap guns come really under this capitalist regime. I wonder what round Adam has got though for this. Um, I think he got up to forty-two. I think. Immortal though says, um, "Killer toy Defo is a Somali <laughs> Dude, I, he literally, the way this thing is, right, like, the the, the, the chat saves from kick, uh, from the last room on kick, so that chat was from yesterday, but yeah, they came in yesterday when we was doing Origins, and it's out of nowhere, just started saying weird stuff, gave him a warning, and then just went, like, rampage mode, like, you know, not gonna say the things he said, but yeah, just often weird. Then he mentioned, like, oh, this is an 18 plus stream. Why am I in here? It's like, well, you've probably got your account set to 18, then, don't you? But yeah, I don't know. Probably just, uh, just an everyday troll. It's pretty cool, though, because, um, Kick is quite active, to be fair. Like, it's crazy how many people are on Kick. How can I explain this? There's, like, a chat where you can. Uh, the way you add bots on, on Kick is a bit weird. You have to, like, go on this public chat. And um, you have to copy the link and paste it into the chat, right? And so when you're doing this, you see other people are copying, uh, are doing the same thing you're doing. And I was seeing like there was like hundreds of people doing the same thing for their channel, adding this one bar. It wasn't like, it, it, I'm sure it wasn't bots. It was like actual people and stuff, which kind of shocked me. I was like, oh, damn. A lot of people are doing this then, you know? There's a lot of, there's a big following. Uh, a lot of people streaming on the kick, you know? Not all streamers on kick are bad. I mean, I follow lots of cool streamers on kick who have good rules. See, that's good. I mean, that probably just shows you right there, you know, I guess kick isn't... Kick might be obviously, you know, like one of them places where, you know, you can do a lot of potential, you know, um, pretty weird stuff on there or bad things that are against the law and stuff. But at the same time, you know, there are a lot of just genuine people that just want to just stream, you know, on kick or if it's Twitch or YouTube. You know, or even TikTok, you know? But yeah, I guess every kind of, I don't know, streaming platform's got its own, um, got its good and bad in, you know? Um, what for says that by herself? Shane, though, says, yeah, it's crazy. Knowing the older uh, cards, including BO3, are getting, uh, like, quite old. Oh, yeah, dude, it really is strange. I mean, look look, look at BO3, for instance. That was made in, two, brought out in 2015, and that's now 2024. So nine years old now. Nine years old. Black Ops 3 is... Wait, nine years? Yes, nine years old, dude. I mean, that is insane. In 2025, it's going to be a decade old. You know? 
I, 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 it's crazy, man. And they're still selling it for full price. I, I, it's understandable why they're selling BO3 for full price, I guess, because BO3 has a lot of custom maps that you can play for free. So they're definitely not going to budge BO3, but they're probably going to budge World at War, probably BO1. I wouldn't say BO2, though. I don't know why we're spinning box. We got, um, oh, we got Max1, though, coming to the stream. <laughs> Space Reveal. I do appreciate it, Max. Welcome to the stream as well, man. Glad to see you coming to the channel, man. Oh, yeah. We're on some... Oh. Yeah, we got the face. <laughs> My bad. Still getting you some. How are you doing today, man? Hopefully having a great day over there, bro. Yeah. We're on some BO3 as well, my man. Where we try and do no gums and no AATs, you know? If you guys are enjoying the stream as well, feel free to hit the like and subscribe. I, before, I don't know what kind of likes we're at. I just can't see it and stuff. But if you guys are enjoying it, feel free to hit that like and subscribe, guys. It would be much appreciated for the channel's growth. It'd be much appreciated for sure. Okay, right. We even got uh, Jormo coming to the stream as well. It says the Matrix is so overrated. And the fucking cultural impact that goddamn movie has uh, had on our society is so fucking stupid. I'm t if I'm correct, yeah, the Matrix started off as a movie and then it became like... I'm sure it became popular because obviously someone used the word the Matrix or... I don't know. There's like a whole meaning behind the Matrix, if I'm correct. I don't really know too much about it, you know, but yeah, I, f I think like someone who became really popular meant, said, talked about it, and then that's why it became really popular. Now it's a different old thing, you know. Fafna says, gotta go, man. I enjoyed it. Hey, have an amazing day over there, Fafna. Thank you for coming to the stream, bro, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have an amazing day. Peace out, bro. Peace out. We are the Matrix. <laughs> We are the Matrix. We play zombies. <laughs> Origins is, I don't know, the fault of the Matrix. <laughs> I don't even know. That probably didn't make any sense, but... <laughs> I don't even know what the Matrix is, to be honest. It, it, I'm sure it's just a movie that came out, and it, like, it's something to do with a bunch of numbers, if I'm correct. Like, green numbers with a black background. Like the people who, uh, the people who, people who look, uh, look kick kind of suck at their job. Um, look at kick. Uh, the people who, uh, to, oh, took over kick uh, at, the, at their job. Their job. I guess like people that, I don't know, take it to the next level with, I don't know, on kick or if it's, I think, Twitch as well. Like obviously that person that went into a different country and started just being really offensive. Like, I mean, that. I don't know who, like, I just don't, like, obviously it's understandable why they're doing it, because it's getting them a lot of, like, people watching, but, like, I don't think anyone would go that far, I mean, that's stupid, you know? Well, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, that, that, that's, like, a different level right there, it's, you know, I feel like streaming video games is completely different than doing that, because this is just, I mean, you're in the comforts of your own home, you're chilling, talking to people you're having a good time um credit though says bo um bo3 might be old uh, to you but the pc version uh, um of it is way better than console bo3 of all the custom maps on steam workshop oh frederick is talking the truth out i mean if you really do look at it bo3 in terms of its custom maps um I guess you could really say, I mean, it's up to date if you look at it. I mean, look at the new maps that they're bringing out now. Or they're going to be bringing out soon. You know, they are pretty much up to date right there in terms of the year. You know, so I guess BO3, really? I, I don't know if people could have... I don't know if this could make any sense, but would BO3 basically be as new as 2024? You know, I mean, it's it's crazy. It's still an updated game. World at War is still an updated game. Although the graphics of that game, you just, you, you can't make the graphics of that game work for the standards of graphics today, you know, because it's just an old game, you know. But yeah, it's crazy, man. Um, also, Mr. Strain, though, says, Mr. Strain, though, says, also, Mrs. Strain is going to have uh, Days and Horizons today. A locket necklace is being delivered. Oh, nice one, Strain. That's awesome, man. Hell yeah, dude. It, you know, that's awesome, man. Giving a gift over, you know, to your fiance and stuff, that's respectable right there, you know. I guess, what what kind of necklace, if you don't want me asking, is it like, um, like ones, like, I don't know what kind of necklace you can have. Obviously, you can get, like, gold necklaces, silver necklaces, even if it's, like, a brass necklace. A brass one? Or a steel one? Dude, that would be awesome, man. Steel necklaces. 
That'd be a bit heavy, but that would be sick right there, dude. John's, John's does it. <laughs> oh, no. John, though, says, Braden, sorry, I just really don't like Matrix fans. He says, yeah, and other people who legitimately think we're in the Matrix. Oh, and I, I, I just, I don't know what, the, I don't know what the Matrix is. I don't know, I don't even, like, yeah, I don't really know too much about it. Like I said, I've heard people talk about the Matrix, but I, the only thing I know really about it is just, like, you know, the, you know, the people show whenever they talk about it, the green numbers in the background of black like that's the only thing i know about it you know <laughs> dude if we actually get up to a solid round here i'm gonna be amazed i'm gonna be amazed um red of those says it's not that serious <laughs> john john is not having it he is like no you know the matrix hell no dude um, strain making, uh, making a slot, man. I'm saying, man, strain's balling, dude. Strain is balling. W for strain. Yeah, no. <laughs> w for strain, though. No. Oh, God, I'm a little bit nervous here. I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it with this one. Nah, we should be able to. We should stop being a bit of a wuss. Come on. Okay, nice one. Oh, we've got a zombie coming over to us. Um, from a... Physics standpoint, says Braid, and some therapists point to limits in our ability to uh, to probe reality at, uh, at microscopic scales as possible evidence that we are in a simulation. The quantized nature of fields and particles, discretance of space-time, and the uncertainty um principle may emerge naturally uh, from a simulated reality oh i guess and that's what it is okay people think that eh, i don't know nah i yeah i don't know if if that's what people think of the matrix i i probably couldn't agree with that but i i don't know nah i wouldn't i i don't know oh eh. Yeah, I, I just, I don't think that would really add up, like, to make, like, I could understand if people feel at times where they, like, things might not be real and stuff, or I like, think, hey, this might just all be a hallucination or a stimulation, but I mean, I, I don't really know, it, it's kind of weird, I can't really put my finger on it, like, it, no, I wouldn't really, you know, I don't know. Um, Silv uh, Sylvan, I'm going to be putting a picture of the locket. That means something to be... Oh, that's good, man. That's just right there, you know? I'm guessing a picture of you guys. Or, like... You know, that would be a good picture for a memorable, memorable time, you know? Giant, um, apocalyptic, though, coming in. He says, there isn't enough evidence on either side for me. Yeah, again, it's just... Oh, okay, I see from John as well. A computer simulation, that's what people think. Okay. No, I don't... Yeah, I mean, no. I mean, if it comes down to being in a computer simulation, that kind of stretches a bit far there, because, I mean, what, well, we've recently just... Not recently, but, I mean, like, a hundred years ago, there was no such thing as, you know, a computer that could go onto the website, you know, Google and stuff, Chrome... Uh, so I, I don't think that would be possible. If someone were to think, like, I don't know, that they're in a... I don't know. Life's probably just like a, like a hallucination. Probably, but... Yeah, no, I don't know. No, no disrespect to anyone that thinks that, but... Yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know. I took the god... I, oh, I got the top... Took the god thing. Ah, you know, everyone's got their own path as well, you know. If you guys want to take, you know, the, the belief of God, hey, honestly, definitely go for that, you know. Um, whatever whatever keeps you moving, guys, you know. Whatever just makes you, you know, feel 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 like you can keep, keep moving and stuff, you know. To be honest, I think religion causes more issues. Oh, so. well, again, I... I wouldn't really know, to be fair. Like, I, I've never really, 
not really, I've not really been too much into that kind of stuff, but like everyone's, I guess everyone's got their own view on it and their own kind of like take on it and stuff. Um, but I, if, if I had more knowledge about it, I would definitely put an opinion, but I just wouldn't really know. I wouldn't really know. I, I haven't really learned too much about like Christianity or, um, you know, but I mean, with people, you know, believing in God and stuff like that's hey, that's that's good, man. You know, I mean, obviously, religion is something that's uh, something that's been going on for years, thousands of years. You know, so um, it's quite a common thing, you know. But yeah, it's one of them. It's one of them. No, it's one of them. Hopefully, I'm making sense when saying that. I am surrounded by helping. Whenever he says that, it reminds me of the, uh, you know, the pigs from Minecraft. <laughs> but you know, the hell pigs. <laughs> it reminds me of hell pigs. Or <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Nikolai is on fire. Sounds like a bunch of fucking... Oh, okay, just need to just take some real quick, guys. Just two seconds. Literally, just... It won't be a phone call. Just two seconds this time. <laughs> Right, not too bad. Oh, Jonas says, by the way, AG, my fiance was sleeping and your voice was. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, I do appreciate it. <laughs> it probably woke her up because it's such a weird voice, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I've also noticed that a lot of people who believe we are living a simulation. Ah, aesthetic dumbasses who replace God with a computer and worship science like religion. Yeah, again, I just wouldn't really, I, I, I just wouldn't really know, I, I don't really know, I don't know. <laughs> again, like, everyone's got their like own beliefs if if the belief isn't getting in everyone else's way eh, you know i don't really see an issue but if if this belief is becoming like a protest you know like you know become like them kind of situations where everyone's ranting and raving about it that's where it should be like okay well yeah, if you have a belief keep it to yourself you know what i mean obviously yeah you know I don't mind. I don't mind personally. Whoever, whoever has any kind of belief, I personally just don't mind. Um, don't mind having a conversation about it as well. You know, seeing why people believe into some things like that, what their theory is on it, that'd be kind of cool. Does playing zombies partake in this belief? I don't know. I don't mind that. <laughs> See, I would say zombies is definitely in a belief. If you die, then... Oh, God. Zombies is definitely a belief. Someone says, what is your belief? It is the zombies. Oh, eat that, brain worm. Oh, we got a doggyo coming after us. We just want to be careful. Boom. Oh, want to chill out there, Mr. Zombonies. And we've got no ammo. Oh, my God. What a surprise. Right, okay. We've got a, we've got a fire sale. Um, Frodo, though, says tomorrow is never promised to us. Yeah, you never know, man. Tomorrow? Tomorrow we might never wake up. Or tomorrow we might wake up and we're in Mob of the Dead and the cycle never ends. 
You never know, guys. <laughs> it could be that as well, you know? <laughs> Just trying to make light of this situation. I'm sorry. Comrades, but yeah, I don't know, you know? Um, ah, never idolize people, says Braden. Yeah, it's Perhaps one of them. I, I need to know what idolize is. <laughs> My bad. Is idolize where it like, um, like, uh, like, uh, it's okay for some idol, idol. And don't worry, Aji. She, um, she does it all the time. And she said, you and I, uh, are a idol. Hey, thank you, Shane. Honestly, I'd say, hey, you're definitely the main idol, Shane. You are definitely the main idol. You know, you're the main man right there, man. Honestly, but thank you. I do appreciate that from both of you guys. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Cyan, though, coming in, says, all right. Hey, welcome to the stream, Cyan. Glad to see you come to the show. Says, hey, do appreciate it, man. Hey, I do appreciate it. <laughs> now, but you guys are much better, you know. <laughs> but nah, glad to see you come to the stream, Cyan. We're on a bit of the giant today stream. And yeah, we're, we're doing a challenge, I'd say, man, where we can't use gobble gums nor AATs. We're going to give it a try. We're going to deep into this. We're going to dive into this challenge, you know. But um, how are we doing today, Sign? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day over there, man. Pleasure to see you coming by. Strain, just don't put the on the minister. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hopefully everyone's enjoying it as well. Having a good time watching. If any of you guys are new, you're just going through. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe, guys. It'll be much appreciated for the channel's growth. Be much appreciated for sure. You know, if we could get up to... I'd say 20 likes. That'd be awesome to see in the chat. I'd be W for sure. Oh my god. Yay. Wanna calm down. This is getting kind of rough. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. Hey, Wildfire, how are you? Oh, Alex, they're coming and says, Hey, G, how are you? I'm doing good, Alex. I'm doing good, man. Just chilling on a bit of Black Ops 3 zombies. And we're trying to set back up. I don't know if we're going to be able to. We should be all good, though. No, we tried to. 28, man. See, I thought we would have got higher. But it's been a good day, Alex. Thank you for asking, man. How is your day going today as well, Alex? Hope you're having a great day over there, man. We got Simon that says, Hey... Uh, so I wanted to ask, um, which controller control scheme sh uh, I should use for all COD games? Oh, you know what? I would say, Simon, in terms of a controller, like, it really, I'd say, takes place in what controller you use to begin with. Like, do you use an Xbox controller or do you use a PlayStation controller like this one? Um, if you use a PlayStation controller, I would personally recommend, especially if you want to go on a bit of a budget, I would recommend the PlayStation 5 controller, my friend. The PS5 controller is the stuff. This thing, it has some weight to it. So it's not light. It has some weight. The controller as well, if you play on some games like Cold War, GTA 5, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, just any games that the PS5 was available on, and some games under that, you can actually have rum, uh, adaptive triggers where you can, you know, uh, it feels like you're actually firing a proper gun. Apparently, anyway. Should I use tactical or default? Oh, it, um, hmm. Hmm, I'm just thinking. I don't know what tactical or default is. Let me have a quick look on the controller settings. We'll get back into another game in just a second. So let me just have a quick look at this. So let me go into game pack real quick. Uh, tactical or default. Stick layout. So, let me see. Um, should I use tactical or default? So, uh, let me just see real quick. So, tactical is button layout. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see, I see. So, hmm. You know what? Yes. I would recommend doing that, Siam. I think I used to do that for Modern Warfare. In fact, I would swap out the crouch button for the jumping Oh, no, this button for jumping. So swap out jump to crouch. And um, that worked. And then I can... And then I... And then it messed up. But yeah, I recommend actually trying that. Because if you can crouch, that means you can slide. If you can slide on this this, this uh, analog, then that, you know, it's, it's easier. If you get used to it, you know. 
We've got Kevin so says W. Damn, I know, man. We was we was on 28, which wasn't bad. We're gonna load up a game right now, bro, you know. But um, how are we doing today as well, Chemist? Hopefully, you're having a great day with the man. Glad to see you coming to the stream, bro. Yeah, we, we died on 28. But we're going to give it another try. We're going to see what we can try and do. Have a bit of fun, you know? Oh, nah, hey, I do appreciate it, Shred. I'd say I... Nah, it, 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 hey, you're definitely the... <laughs> do appreciate it. Um, straight, no, no, Braden though says, Braden, John though says, Braden, don't pretend to work out the reasons behind what happens next is helps when it's done physics world. Alex though says, by the way, a team, I joined in your stream a few seconds on my quest to watching in VR. Really? Okay, that's pretty cool, Alex. But I have to get off because my quest to was low on power. Okay, that's all cool, Alex. That's all cool, man. But hey, how was it though? Hopefully it was all cool. Was it all 3D? Like, was the screen like here and then was the, the, the points? Like, we've got the points. Were they back there or something like that? You know, how was the experience using the Quest 2 while watching a stream? I know with the Oculus, everything's 3D. I mean, the Oculus is a lot of money as well. That thing's like a thousand or two thousand pounds, which is crazy, you know? Confirmed. You can, oh, Frederick though says you can change the controller to what is comfortable for you. Yeah, honestly, Frederick's saying the truth, yeah. You don't have to get a, 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 you don't have to get a buy a controller that is default, that, that is um, automatically default. You can do it through the settings. If you go into options, you go into controller, you go into game pads, and then you can go on to, um, wait, is it over here? Yes, I think it is. And you can go on to, like, button. I, I'm pretty sure... All right, I'm sure there is a way to do it, but I don't know if you have to use a different um, program. If you're on PC, I think DS4 Windows might be might be the place for you. Um, <coughs> hey, oh, Wildfather says, "Ag, do a die rise round 50. Oh, you know what? That, you know that'd be a good one idea. I'd say Wildfire. We could definitely do that in a future stream. It won't be like a stream in like the next couple of streams. We could. So I think tomorrow we're going to be doing um, a. I guess we could try and do that for tomorrow's stream to like balance things out. We was going to be doing, and it was either going to be a customer that Frederick wanted us to play, or I don't know what else it was. Something else, I think, it's in my back of my head. But um, we can actually give that a try, man. Around 50 on dollars. And no camping this time. No camping. Like actual training around. That'll be really cool, you know? Ethan though says, when everything's been dragging you down, grab you by the hair and bulge you to the ground. If you want to get up, you need a little crack with a little fact shrine. Fact shrine there from Ethan. Talking the talking the truth, you know? Um, but what about advanced movement games? Jumping will be annoying without the bumper. Uh, without the bumper jumper, but throwing is bad too. See, that's the thing. Like, you gotta try. You gotta find your niche to one, I guess, game style than sign. Like, if you're into FPS, boots on the ground game, I guess doing the tactical might, the tactical button layout might be good for you. But if you're an advanced movement type of player, still FPS. Try and find your your groove there as well. You know, you gotta try and find your groove there. If 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 you just play both, if you like playing both styles of games, then probably try, that's gonna be tricky right there. I wish I could help out with that. But I just don't know what that's gonna be like. You know, um, Brando says I mean I, I didn't mean to start an argument about religion. Oh no, that's all cool. That's all cool. It, it it's all cool. I. Nah, to be honest, I didn't look like a, too much of an argument, I'd say. Nah, it's all, it's all cool, guys. It's all cool. We, hey, we're all, we're all like mates here. Yeah, no, we could all get along. Um, you know, I'd say when it's like this, like, when, um, when, like, obviously I know, uh, like, you know, like, Brayden or John, like, I know you guys are not here to just start an argument. That's why I'm like, okay, no, it's fine. You know, it happens at times. Obviously, when it's like a random person that's coming just to troll, you know, that's where you've got to take a bit more caution for it, you know. But it's all cool. It's all cool. Um, actually, Brayden, how was the um, Mob of the Dead round 50, bro? How did it go? I seen that you did a stream this morning, but I think I went to sleep around like half 12 or something like that. I think half 12 or around 1. 
How did it go though, man? Was you able to craft any of the buildables? The blunder gap, the acid gap, you know, anything like that. Um, Alexis says there was a whole screen around me. Oh my god, dude, that's crazy, man. That is honestly awesome, Alex. How much was the quest do? Like, how much did you have to pay for it, you know? That is very cool right there, man. The quest too sounds fun. I've not really been a kind of like a, a, someone that likes um, advanced kind of game or consoles like that, like the Quest 2 or the Oculus, but they do seem kind of fun. I will say that. They do seem kind of fun, to be honest, man. You know? we got some messages. I wish I could remap them. So A slash X would be spring. Oh, see. Oh, you know what? I think there is... You know what it... If you're on the PlayStation 5 side, or the PlayStation 4, it doesn't have to be PlayStation 5, but PlayStation, it should be with Xbox as well, but PlayStation, you can actually change the button config. That's what I was trying to remember. It's the button config for the, uh, the PlayStation you can change. Now, I think it's on the settings on the PlayStation main menu, but you need to see, you just need to go through there, and you can change it. Hopefully, that does help out, you know? And A, we've got Almighty Viking. I do apologize for being a bit late, man, but glad to see you coming to the show, Almighty Viking. Hell yeah, dude. The legend coming into the chat. How are we doing today, man? Hopefully, you're having a wonderful day over there, bro. We're starting with the giant. We're doing no gums and no AATs. So no dead wine, no fireworks. How is this going to play like? You know, we did our first game, which was 28. Let's try and beat that, you know? I think we can get into it. I really hope we can definitely do some uh, good games right here. Come on. Now, I don't know what would be a good strat right here. The starting room might be pretty good, but at the same time, you get cornered up quite fast over here. If we do end up getting stamina up, that would be really good, you know? Um, okay, no matter how you spin it, simulation theory is just... Again, yeah, I, I feel like if, if, if it goes out of control, are people believing it? it, it that, that sounds like it could become quite ridiculous, you know? Ridonculous, you know, as some people would say. Man, if only controller were uh, keyboard shaped, were more keyboard shaped, that would be kind of cool, you know? That would be interesting to see. Hey, you never know. They might have something like that out there already. I know they've got for PlayStation. It's kind of weird. You can actually put a keyboard, a mini keyboard under it, like plug it under here. I think uh, T-Man from the chat that comes into the stream sometimes, he has that for his controller. It, it actually works, but you can't play on it. You can only type on it, which is kind of a unfortunate bro this is i'm 42 years old and i might just have more understanding and experience in uh, i might just have more understanding and experience in this world oh definitely like i mean for someone that's lived up to you know 42 years compared to someone that's lived up to say like i don't know 20 years like would would definitely say the person that lives up to 40 years would be much more experienced you know with many things you know all types of things you know uh, that's a fact right there, genuinely, you know? Genuine fact. Um, let's play uh, Chess King. <laughs> let's play Chess King. There we go, Molly Morkin showing off the emoji. You already know, dude. You already know. <laughs> Quest 2 was $200. Really? $200? That's not too bad, man. That's a pretty good price right there. I would have thought it would have been a little bit more pricey, but that's not bad at all. That's actually pretty good. Oh, is this where Jug is? Let's have a quick look. Um, let's have a quick look. Sign though says, yeah, I actually noticed that many multiplayer games use its, uh, use the it's a simulation excuse for their multiplayer story. Hmm. I don't know. I guess like, I don't know if Call of Duty does. I'm, I'm just trying to think what, what it means. Like, simulation, I'm guessing. Like, uh, I guess coming back to that, what we talked about, like the Matrix and stuff. I don't know if it could be that. Bentley says that uh, this has uh, gone ridiculous. Uh, John, we turned into AG stream. Not, uh, not here. All of his negativity as uh, you're the only one with the issues. Now, uh, oh, this world is <laughs> and now we could probably just chill out. You know, we could just chill out. You know, have a good time. I'd say, guys. You know, I guess we did start off talking about old Matrix BS thing, and now it's gone overboard. You know, we can we can just push it to the side now. You know, have more, just whatever kind of talks. If it's zombies, or even anything, Vanguard zombies. <laughs> I'll make but yeah, facts from Fred. Let's just chill out with the whole negative talk, guys. You know, we just want to keep it chill. You know what I mean? Fun fact, Nuketown and BO3 is a simulation. 
Simulation, simulation. Oh, like a simulation of how you play? Or I'm just thinking. My knowledge for a simulation is not the best, dude. Uh, okay, nice. We're not too bad so far. We're doing pretty good. Let's quickly just knock that guy, that guy, that guy. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. We're just knifing these guys, dude. Freak bag. Freak sack. <laughs> Problem. Uh, Brayden though says the problem is once you believe God is uh, in is in a there's no urging w uh, arguing with you. Close minded. Again, I don't know. I I guess let's just try and chill out with the whole religious thing. You know, let's just try and push it to the side now, guys. You know, we can all chill out. And I'm 45, and I've and I haven't uh, I haven't a clue what's going on anymore. <laughs> hey, nah. Honestly, I could hey I could see all you guys that are you know older, you know having having experience. You know, trust me on that. <laughs> um, it, I mean, if it makes you guys, you know, uh, make it better. You know, yeah, you you guys. I think all of us have a lot to live for. You know, a lot to live for, man. So many opportunities, so many things to do. You know, going on, going to different countries, things like that. You know, how cool that would be, man. Going to, I don't know, it's different countries and stuff. Like Canada, that'd be pretty cool. Or going to Colombia. I, I don't know why that came to mind, but that would be a cool place, you know. Um, and one of those says, I'm chilling, man. Stayed at home today from work, not feeling the best. But I plan on streaming later. And my torture stream is this Friday night. Anyone who comes watches the chat. Send mins in the stream all. Oh yeah, all week. This week, including my Friday, gets a free 250 points uh, to spend in the stream. Man, that's a W right there, man. Hey, you're showing the support for sure, man. You know, you've definitely got it as well, dude. You know, we're building up a community. You know, I honestly could do really well, man. Um, you know, with your streams, I guess with, with a lot of streams that I've seen, so everyone's really talkative, communicative, you know, definitely got that, man, definitely got that. John, though, says, Brayden, you could easily, okay. interested, uh, let, let's just chill out, guys, let's just chill out, right? you know, this is just zombies, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, let's just chill out, guys, oh, fuck it, yeah, I hope we don't get killed again. All right, okay, let's see. So we've got around 3,000 3, points right here. Okay, nice one. Not too bad. Let's just uh, go over here real quick. Is there not any uh, mods? Whoa. Right, John. All right. If it starts going out of control, I'll have to time out. I don't know. I, I don't really want to time out, but it does seem like it's that's going to... I don't know have to probably be the thing if people are just going to start acting silly and stuff or out of hands you know i don't really want to tell anyone but it probably will have to happen so you know let's just chill out guys you know forget about religious this isn't the stream is not about religion you know we're playing zombies we're killing we're literally killing zombies it's not about religion you know in in the video game anyway yeah, let's just chill out, guys. CBA for it. Can't be bothered for it. We're playing a video game. Doesn't have to talk about it. Start off from the Matrix, then it start off from religion. Got it. I don't know where Adam is. Time, time at Adam? Nah, Ad Adam's not doing anything. Where's Adam? <laughs> I don't know where Adam is. I have no clue, but... Yeah, let's just cut it, guys. No more religious. No, no more. No more. One of my session ends at 3.30 AG. I'm not wanted here. No, it's not that, bro. It's just because... No, it, it's not... It, it. No, I'm not even being one-sided here. I'm just... I'm trying to be fair on both sides. At the end of the day, this is just us streaming a video game. No one has to be here, genuinely. I, I am not, like... I'm just trying to get through my day. I'm not even going to lie, guys. Just trying to get through my day, you know? Okay, right. So we got up to around 5,000 points so far. Let's, uh, what we'll try and do. Yeah, let's get perks. I don't really want to go for the same situation of us, um, dying like once again. Just wish it wasn't okay, let's see. Oh, where did actually Crook Revive be? I think Crook Revive is. Okay, that's double tap. Jog's over there. And I think 
speak on us above there, so Crook of Armour will probably be around here. Adam, love you, Adam. No, I'm telling you, Adam's here. Adam is here. He is, he is, he, he, he's seeing the stream on here, man. He's probably, he's probably trying giant himself, you know? This tastes awful. Okay, nice one. Right, not too bad so far. That's pretty good. Round eight. Okay, yikes. Yeah, I. Let's just chill out about it, guys. No, no, not not even about me. Yeah, I. I I don't know. I feel uncomfortable when it. It's just like directed to like one person. It's about everyone else. It's about everyone else. I'm just. I I can't be asked for arguments, you know. I look like a knobhead enough. I've got these glasses on, you know. <laughs> Don't want to sound like a knobhead. Nice one. Not too bad so far. Not too bad. 2,000 right there. That's pretty good. But, uh, I'd say small. Small, small, unsexy. You know? <laughs> Airy legs. Never open up the big gate. I use the trap. Oh, the big gate use the trap and stuff. So that might be a good idea right here. The only thing is, dude, is we've got Jug around here. It would be nice, right, if Jug was in the other location, like probably over there or somewhere. We need to get a roll up, man. We really do need to get a roll, you know. We can have a couple spins, so that's not too bad. My highest round with no ATs on Pack a Bunch is like 71. Really? Play test Monday. Hey, honestly, dude, that's that's crazy, man. <laughs> Never done the challenge with no eight, no gobble gums before, but I, that's that's good right there, man. I'm hoping we can get up to a thirty plus or something. That would be nice. Got to get used to this. I mean, it would be cool to try do no gobble gums. You know, this brings a negative vibe of energy when people argue about this uh, serious subjects. Yeah, just, you know, yeah. I just don't want to keep. Yeah, you know, One bullet at a time. especially if it's All like need. politics or religion or like situations that's going on. Wonder it's just not awful. good, really. Thing of beauty. Like normally this is just a place to chill out, uh, you know, have laughs and stuff, have some hype. You know what I mean? And like I said as well, like I like, like not enforcing anyone to work like come here. It's just having a chill time, just having a chill time. That's all, you know. Fucking entertain people in. That's different. Entertain people in. But pulling people in, that's not my uh that's not my goal. I don't wanna just keep people in. I wanna try and entertain people in, but I need to become better. Now I'm just rambling on. Different subject now. But I swear to god, if we come across another four, uh, block up horn, that's gonna really be so annoying. Okay, right. Pretty good so far. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. This is gonna turn out real bad. We need a hype emoji. Hey, dude, you know what? A hype emoji would be awesome. I don't know, like, what color it could be, but I can imagine, like, two hands, like the emoji hands, but different. You know, like, probably the just multicolored. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> or something. <laughs> That'd be quite nice. Pipe, 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 you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, I'm just trying to explain, yeah. No, I do respect it as well. I'm just trying to explain and stuff. Trying to, like, give an understanding. Yeah, no, I, I can respect it and understand it. Um, yeah. Like, having a conversation here and there about it. Fine, you know, that's fine, that's fine. Um, but, like, obviously, when it's, like, uh, when it comes into a debate and then an argument and then... You guys already know, you know, it's like, oh, not very good. Not very good. <laughs> not very good indeed. I'm tickling my fiance's side to get her up. Oh, God. 
fair play, Strange. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. There's better ways, Strange, says Mr. Braden and NTC. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know what the better side would be. Like, I don't know, probably... I would say turning up the volume on the TV, if you guys are in the room, and loading up some classic BO3. That would wake them up. That would bring up the hype for them. They could hear the... Oh, 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 you know? <laughs> They'd be like, oh my god. Now that's a wake-up call right there. Or the BO2 theme tune. Bass boosted edition. Or the Among Us theme tune. Base boosted edition. You've got to fill up the mayo chart. You indeed, you got to fill up. you got to fill it up. you got to back it to the rim. Put a nice sealant on the top so no air gets poured into there. And bam, you got yourself a nice concealed jar of mayo. Trade. If I were you... I would be laying next to her. And, then, <laughs> and just uh, let her let her lead her. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, I just having a good time, you know what I mean? Enjoying life and stuff. Oh yeah. I I guess some of like uh like relationship. I'm guessing it's like I don't know if it's like difficult to get used to living with someone for a long time. I don't know. I don't know how it normally goes with um how it works out and stuff, but you know, respect how some people are able to, like, uh, how can I prolong for, like, a relationship for a long time, like, must be quite some effort at times. Hey, nice one, Alex. Alex though, says, I made a new uh, VR video today um, about how about a game called Monster Showdown VR. Interesting, Alex. I do like the sound of that. Would love to check that out as well, man. You know, I think from the last time I've seen, it was Nactor and Totem in VR. I think it was, um... What is it called? Uh, is it X-Man? X-Man in VR? And that seems pretty cool. Looks like an open world like game and stuff. Where you can use the VR headset. And we want to play BO3 Zombies on the PlayStation. Oh, I guess if anyone is open out to play with Tezmundo on BO3 for PlayStation 4, that would be awesome to hear from. And awesome to see as well. You know, I guess on your case as well, Tezmundo, have you had any thought of doing any more like high rounding streams? Getting back into some Kino or Nact? You know, I know that's your main thing. You love doing high rounds and stuff. I'd love to see stuff like that, I'd say, man. <laughs> oh, my God. So strange. Keep it that to yourself. Oh, no. I'm going to say, so says, Brayden, you, uh, you don't want to know what she wanted to do to me last night. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. Strange going all out. He is wilding, dude. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> you got to keep relationships fresh and take her on dates. Okay. I guess like going Mackie's. Probably going KFC. Going to, I don't know. Um, nah, obviously, though, you want to bring them to good places. You know, fine and dine. Probably at Chick-fil-A. Mess and um, like obviously like you know uh, high high end places things like that like that'll be good. Fifteen hundred. Oh okay. <sighs> Hi to me. Sorry guys. Um, which one are we gonna do? I think, I think it's this one. Yes, it's this one. Um, and I do appreciate it. I'd, I'd say just for now, though, guys, do just leave it and stuff. Cause yeah, if anyone hasn't joined in for the kick side of the streaming, do recommend it. You know. We are, uh, we do stream on kick as well, if anyone is interested. We've got around nine followers on there. You know, main goal would be, I don't know, this month. That would be awesome to see. Probably 15 followers. That would be so sick. You know, it's crazy. On, on kick, though, guys, you have to get up to 100 followers and nothing like a bunch of watch hours to get up to the, um, like, payment and stuff, which is fair. Stop spamming the bar. <laughs> I'll try and sort it out, though, guys. I don't know what messages it shows. If it shows, like, for... Uh, if it shows for YouTube, uh, Gifted Members, Kick, and... I don't know why it shows at the same time. That's weird. It shouldn't do that. It shouldn't do that at all. 
Edgy thinks fast food is dated. I'm telling you, I'm dating. I'm dating. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. To be honest, though, I don't get why Notbot does that. I sh that's my fault, really, because I should have changed it. I did for this, um, for, for Kick one, I did, um, I think it was like a one hour uh, to send the message. And then for the gifted members, each 15 minutes, you know, and I think the other one was like 15 minutes, five minutes or so, you know. But now I will change it. I've got you guys. I will change it. Hell yeah, though, you know, McDonald's. I don't know if the Big Mac would be a fine dine for sure, you know. Ooh, exquisite, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Extra sauce on the side? Yes, please. That would be an extra five pound right there, just for the extra sauce. <laughs> oh, man. Have some nice settled-in chicken, chicken nuggets, you know. With a nice McFlurry. Finally... Finally swiveled into a disgusting ice creamy paste. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yummy yum. Um, and, oh no. Um, wait. You filled the mayo chart after you went outside. Wait a minute. Strange giving us some information there. He says I filled the mayo jar yesterday after I took it out. Oh my god. So. You know, even with filling the mayo jar, you still had enough power in you. <laughs> you still had enough in you. You know, to... That's crazy. That is impressive, Mr. Strange. Fair play, my man. Fair play. <laughs> oh, no way. Really, Brain Brain says I've got a 13-hour shift today. It's dragging to and I, I do hope it can become faster, Brayden. Like, I think, uh, I guess, the one thing you're doing really good, Brayden, is doing these shorts. Like, they seem to be doing amazing for you. You get new people coming in. Um, I guess, have you posted any new shorts recently today, Brayden? Anything like that, man? Just to help out, help the day go a bit faster. I don't know if that would help out, bro. You know, that might be something that could make your day go faster. Pardon me. Yeah, dude, literally, Max with the mayo jar, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, he can fill it up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. You can fill the mayo jar eight times. That's incredible right there, Mr. Strain. That has to be put in the Guinness World Records right there. There we go. Not too bad so far. Um, Shane says, might have filled it too far because now it won't close. Oh, no. Just all the mayo is just oozing out. It's just oozing, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just quickly see, though, how many uh, likes are on. Hopefully, everyone's enjoying it. Having a good time watching, you know? Uh, just give us two seconds, guys. I really do wish they could try and sort this out. Uh, restore chat. Wait, can I have two chats above? I can't. I can only have one. Why is it doing this? I don't really want it like this because this is terrible. I don't know if it's just me as well, but they've changed the look of this. Um, let's see. Let me go into here. What the fuck? Yeah, they've ruined this. Um, I don't know if you guys are getting the same screen. Like, all the videos are in the bottom of the stream, but I... I okay, yeah, this is terrible. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's going to have to just quickly just... Okay. Why is there always an issue just in front? There's always an issue. I just can't have a break. Analytics? No, I want to view on YouTube, please. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, this is actually uh, frustrating now. Oh, 
Oh, this is... Expand, please. There you go. Oh, this is AIDS. Why is this doing this? Come on. Please. Just do something good for once. Hide you. No, I don't want to hide. Wait, is this on it? Oh my god, I'm gonna get him. Okay. There we go. Sorry, guys. Thank you for 24 likes as well. Do appreciate that. Just trying to sort this thing out. There's always an issue. There has to always be an issue. It's just never chill. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay, there we go. Thank you for 24 likes, though, guys. Do appreciate it. Only one like away from 25. Um, let's have a quick look, though. I was going to make a short from last night when I finally got the blunder gap. Uh, but Brutus slammed the box shut before, and I could uh, before I could grab it. Really? Then I went down and I missed it when I when it got happened. Ah, that is that is a rough situation right there, bro. And I think if you were to give it another try, keep trying with it, man. You know, I think you've definitely got it. You know, the but, Mob of the Dead is not easy, man. It it definitely is not an easy map to play. What round were you able to get up to, though, Brett? Was it, you know, was you able to get up to, um, you know, was it like a, a 20, a 30, a 22, a 25, an 18, you know? Any kind of round, though, either way, it, are you learning, you know, you're learning at the map and stuff. Definitely got that, man. <coughs> I'm playing some Warframe. Nice one, Alex. I saw some right there, man. Some classic Warframe. You can't go wrong in that game. Warframe, Warframe seems pretty cool, man. I'm guessing, Alex, are you, are you able to play Warframe through using the VR headset by any chance? I don't know if that's the case, but if that is, that's, that, that's pretty cool, I'd say, man. That's not too bad. Okay, right, only round 15 so far, so things looking okay. Okay, nice. We're not too bad so far. Nice one, right. Okay, nice one, guys. We're doing pretty good. We're playing Super Mario 2. Super Mario Maker 2 on the story mode in game. And the part where I have to beat the level without jumping. Oh, see, that's going to be interesting right there. I know a big part of Mario is you have to jump, you know, to, 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 to gain up the levels and stuff. So that does not sound easy for sure, straight. No, you can't. Oh, that would be cool if you could. I'm not going to lie. That would be pretty awesome. I just imagine, I don't know, having like a playing Warframe on the VR headset. You know, everything's just 3D and stuff. That would be pretty cool. Okay, right. Not too bad. Round 16 so far. Things looking pretty good. Oh, no. These dogs are going to kind of... It'll be challenging, but definitely nice one, nice one. Pretty good so far. Okay, right. Just want to go around here. Whoa, okay, right. Nice one. Round 16. Not too bad. Not too bad. Can't go wrong with that. Hey, you want to do my 
right job for me. Go right ahead. Okay, right. Not too bad. Uh, oh my god. None of you wants to answer my messages. Oh my bad. I didn't um I didn't see the message, Frederick. What did you say, man? I didn't see the message. You didn't come through, bro. What did you say for the message? Um try and if you're able to, try and copy and paste the message and resend it. Because sometimes with a message, it just doesn't come through because I don't know, YouTube just does it at times. I generally can't see the message, bro. Nice one, not too bad. Come on. Now oh, we got the death machine right there. Oh. Oh my god. And uh, if I do jump, I must land on the platform. Oh. That does sound like a pretty tricky challenge right there. Again, Mario Melee, you have to keep jumping. You know, that's where your progress with the levels in that game is, it seems. You, know, you need to keep jumping you know, to your main obstacles. Um, you know. Okay, right. Not too bad. Pretty good, pretty good. Well, let's see. Round 17 so far. We're doing pretty good so far. Go through here. Nice one, nice one. Oh, see, I feel like just getting trapped in that area is going to be one of the reasons for our death. We just don't really want to have that situation. Already died like ten times because I need to <coughs> ride um ride a mole's head, really a mole's head. What the hell's going? Interesting game for sure, man. <laughs> I guess with that game though, you've got all types of characters. You know, you got like the main characters Luigi and um, Mario and stuff. But then you got like characters like uh, is it Bowser and you know different characters you can play as or go against if they're enemies, which is pretty cool, Yo, right there. Time to meet your maker. What Mario are you playing, Barney Chance Chain? Is it um oh, is it one of the classics or is it like a, an older Mario? HVK, oh go on, you can't go wrong with the HVK. We want to try and go for an LMG though. See what we could try and get. Oh, they've got the Man O War. That's interesting. Let's have a look. Come on. LMG to our way. Small BMP, fair play, fair play, fair play. Not a bad gun, but could be better. Oh, the teddy bear? Damn it, dude. Bye -bye, Not the teddy. I'm just quickly just burn my nose real quick. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. My bad. Okay, right. Let's see. Where's this box going to spawn? I feel like doing the the way how Adam and I think Timmy did it, where they held up in the catwalk. That's probably going to be a good idea. I mean, just to surpass the rounds a little bit, you know, that might be a good idea right there. Probably want to pack a punch. One of the LMGs. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, no motion, right? So it's back over there. Okay. Right. Just want to go from here real quick. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, locust. Not a bad gun. Not a bad gun for sure, but it'll be better. Oh, the XM4. It was nice knowing everyone. Have a nice life, everyone. Um, yeah, if you are leaving, I'd say, Frederick, have a great day over there, man. Again, did you send the message or 
I don't know if you sent the message or not. I genuinely couldn't see it, bro. I just genuinely can't see it. I can only see your message if you saying no one wants to answer my message. Um... Right. But no, if you are... Yeah, hopefully... It's a new Mario. It's by Nintendo, where you can actually make your own Mario level. And, well, no, okay, that's pretty cool, Strain. Monkey see, monkey go blow Jesus. some shit up. <coughs> On my throat. Here's his vapes. That's actually pretty cool. It's a bit like custom maps for BO3, but you can, like, I don't know, make your own Mario map, you know? That's actually sick right there. I could see the Mario community... You know, so cool, you know, they've got their own customly made maps on there. <coughs> oh, it would be nice spending a gold gun, but we sadly can't do that, guys. Let's see, where would... Oh, we got a guy coming after us. Nice one. ICR, that's pretty good. Along with its own story modes, to rebuild the castle. Oh, okay, it's interesting. Rebuild is the castle. Good for me, bad for you, freak sex. Have you ever made your own Mario World before, Strain? Like, I don't know how it works with making a Mario World. I'm guessing... I don't know if it's like BO3 where you've... Like, I don't know how it works out, but I'm get, I don't know if it is like BO3. But, um... <clears throat> hmm. Dude, oh, yeah, you know what, screw it. This is gonna do. This is gonna do us. Uh, do we really... Nah, no, we don't really need to pack a punch or anything like that. We should be all good. Right, come on. Hopefully things are gonna be looking all good. Just go through here. Just chill out. I don't know if making a Mario world, like, if it's like BO3 where you have to, I don't know. I don't know how it would be and stuff, but I could see it being kind of interesting. You know? Uh, hey, we got Edo coming to the stream, showing the emoji. Hell yeah, dude. Welcome to the stream, eh? Hell yeah. <laughs> um... We just saw a bit of Black Ops 3 Zombies, and we're doing no gums and no AATs. Give it a try for the stream. But how is E doing for the day? How are you doing today, my man? Are you chilling? You're driving? You're at the store? You're getting a haircut? Bro, he's coming to the face cam like it's... <laughs> oh, God. And it's still getting used to it, you know, still getting used to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And Fred, Fred Rogers, what's the dilly? I don't know. I think I couldn't see his message, but I, I just couldn't see the message. I couldn't see the message. Um, Fred, what's with all this attitude? <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't see the message. Couldn't see it. Once you go face cam, you don't go back. I hope so. That's what I hope. I don't know. I'm max ammo, max not really a... Yeah, not, not really like a facial, social kind of guy. Like, I don't know. I feel like I can sound sociable, but when it's like face, it's like, yeah. You know? It's like, hey, what's up? Like, I don't know. Sounding, but not looking. That doesn't make any sense. Red. Annoyed with John. Oh, it's John. Oh, okay. I again. I. That's the thing. I don't. All right. I think one thing to not talk about Who's is religion. We shouldn't talk about voice. religion. Uh, not religion. You know. Obviously, if it gets brought up and it's like a civil, civil conversation, that's completely fine. But if it's a, uh, if it turns into an argument, yeah, we don't want to talk about that because we don't want to have anyone being affected from that. You know. Right, so the catwalk, it is. 
Let's go back from the meal. Uh, oh, just got back from the mer meat market. About to make some tacos. I'm at Dad's new grill. Oh, that sounds awesome, me. How are you, man? Having a grill. You know, using the family's grill and stuff. It's nice, you know, if it's steak, pork, chicken and stuff. Making a wrap, I'm guessing. No, a taco, you said. Making a taco. You know, that sounds like a stuff right there. Hell yeah. <laughs> Does not sound bad. All right, this place is actually pretty chill. We don't actually have to worry about this place too much, you know? Shane, though, says, I made a map. Um, I made a map on it called Hammer Bros Challenge, where I put it as a puzzle to get past Hammer Bro enemies to the end. But I haven't made the Mario world yet. I'm currently working on it. Haven't. Oh, okay. Hey, bro. Honestly, taking step of a step, taking step on a step of it, of it at a time. Strange, you know. You've got it for sure, man. You never know as well. Once you publish the map, you might have tons of people playing it, being like, "Yo, this this map, this map that you know, Stray made is actually really cool." If I was ever into if I, if I was ever into Mario, like a Mario fan and stuff, I would love to play it. I, I haven't really played much Mario. I've probably already said that, but yeah, you know. <laughs> Brent though says, um, but, but John left. I, again, yeah, it, it was a bit of a... I don't know. I wouldn't say it was... Uh, there was no one to go. It was just... It, I guess there was like one person that said something and the other person that kind of just like seen that and without knowing that it would cause an argument or cause a scene, I thought, I thought to reply back at it and then John probably replied back and that's what it caused. You know, so it's all cool, guys. It's all cool. 20 likes. Hey, thank you guys for 20 likes in the chat. I do appreciate it. You know what I mean? That's awesome right there. Again, uh, you know, I want it sound you guys are all enjoying it, having a good time, watching the stream, chilling. You know, if you guys are new as well, I generally do recommend hitting the subscribe. Uh, it would generally help out a ton for the channel. We have an awesome community out there. We love doing Call of Duty Zombies. Like, that's our main thing we love doing. Um, you know? But yeah, thank you, John. I do appreciate it, man. Um, and you can add many levels to the world, says so Strange. You make it so crazy. Dude, I can imagine. Like, <gasps> No, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Bro, that was... That, that, uh, yo, I thought we were taking it down, man. That was way too close right there. That's that's the kind of stuff we want, though. We want to have close calls, close situations. We don't want to get... We don't want this to be easy. We want this to be difficult, you know? Come on, guys. We got this. We got this. Edo coming in. He says, bro. Bro. You got to put... On, uh, you gotta put on the muck cool guy shades. This stream, uh, why you got the total badass dangerous guy shades on it? Uh, getting scared. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, I don't know. I, I normally thought these were just gamer glasses. I don't know if they were gamer glasses or something. <laughs> I feel like the, I guess you could say the cool guy shades. I don't even know where they are. I can't. It's weird. I can play with these shades, but they are really dark. I just don't, I don't know what, what it's like playing without them. Haven't gotten used to that level yet. Again, I, I don't know, but I don't know where the other ones are. Um, I just feel like they'll be a little bit weird. I'll probably probably stick with these. Who knows? In the future, we might get some lighter shades one, and we'll try and get ones of your guys' favour. You know, it would be nice playing without these, but just getting used to them a little bit. You know, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but I, so I guess we got the dangerous guy shade, which, <laughs> and now the cool guy shades. I don't know what gamer shades would look like, but we could try and look for them, you know, try and go to some like, gamer shades. Cook, 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 Bum, 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 bum. Oh yeah, bro! I finally beat. The jumping level. Nice one. Strange beat the jumping level, guys. So now he's off the next level. What, I guess, Strange, what is your next level, bro? What level have you got next and waiting for you, dude? You know? Is it a level where you can't slide? Can't crouch? You can't jump more than twice or more than once? Uh, one, more than twice, I mean. Oh, 
Dark and dark. Dude, okay. I really hope things do go well, you know? Gamer glasses says he? No. Gangster from... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm the least from there. I'm just a, just a, just a casual guy, you know? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Now I can see you guys. You guys looking pretty cool, you know? Hey, I'd say if you guys ever were to, you know, like with E doing this streams with face cam or Brayden, hey, you guys ever tried wearing glasses? I think you guys would look pretty good. Pretty good for sure, you know? Strain wearing glasses, he'll look, you know, bad. You know? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. These glasses are quite dark to be honest which i can play with it i, I can manage it but <laughs> hey josh says two five five inbound dude that would be crazy man a two five five inbound just doing no aats no gobble gums? I don't even know, bro. That would be crazy right there. I don't even know if it would be possible for a 255 without those things. Gobble gums are AAT'd. I guess it would be because I guess you could use traps on the map and stuff. But who knows? Who knows? I don't know because they've got time. Uh, what is it? Reset times for card and stuff. Like some maps. I'm just joshing you. Yeah. <laughs> But nah, I, I guess you got all types of shades, though, you know. Um, I guess, yeah, you know. I don't know what kind of gaming shades. I don't even... I remember I tried looking on Google for gaming shades. I think they've got, like, the different shades, different color ones. I think, like, you can get green shades, which could be pretty helpful. I can have a look into that, actually. I don't know. I don't know if you guys were ever, like, ever thought of wearing shades the four face cam. I don't really know. I mean, for a... For a for, for an opinion on them, they're not too bad. They're just they're just a little bit darker tint. So obviously, seeing the game um, is not bad. But yeah. Hey, G, you should attempt a two five five Shang. It's uh, super easy. Ah, oh, dude, a 255 shank. I mean, see, I just don't know how it would, like... See, I haven't even done a 50 on shank, let alone 255. I just don't know what that would be, to be honest, Josh. I mean, I've seen the strategy for uh, around 100 on shank. You could do many strategies. I think, like, two, actually, where one of them, it's, like, near the starting room, and you could just, like, hold it. Like, a bit like this, but you've got the baby gun. You could just hold it one area of where the zombies are all going through. I don't know if that could be the strategy. We could have a look into it, though. I mean, if, if it were to be a high round, that uh, I guess for a start, I don't know if a 50 or a 100 would be okay. I, I don't even know how long a 100 on Shang would take. Trust me, though, man. It would be awesome to be able to have the patience for them kind of rounds. It would be awesome. I just don't know what it would be like, you know? Okay, yeah, so we're just using this, using this area is just, you know, to get up the round, maintain the round up like 30 or something, you know. Oh, facts, Alex. The Dracon is honestly an awesome gun, man. Like, out of all the BO3 guns they brought out, the Dracon has to just be one of them guns that, you know, whenever you get from the box, you have to be appreciated of. Because it's, it's a good gun, man. You can't go wrong with the Dracon. As well as, like, the Dingo. The Dingo's not bad. But if you get a gun like the Kudo or the Fera, eh, not the best guns. But still good for, like, you know, movement and stuff like that. I might have to wear glasses soon. I mean, if, again, it's it's like an option. Like, if you're interested, eh, you know, you, you might like it, you know? I assume you're wearing glasses. Are you shy? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't know, like... This is the thing. You could obviously do one stream without wearing glasses, but then you got to think, would you be able to do it for the next bunch of other streams you do in the future, you know? you got to think of it long term, so... 
I'm just wearing these just to try and like, how can you say, like, take a little, take steps at a time. I don't know if that's the way to do it, but if it ends up wearing <laughs> shades for, I don't know, eternity, then I guess that'll be it. I'll just have to find a new pair of shades, but yeah. Yeah, basically that. I mean, I don't know. That's the thing, like, I see, I don't know. You guys able to do face cam? It's crazy, man. I couldn't do that because you got your days where you're tired, and sometimes your eyes are just really sleepy. And, like, having to always put out energy facially as well. I not do that, man. I'm not really good with uh, facial energy or whatever it is. I don't know. Facial expressions. But here they come to the stream says, Brayden, when are you rocking the shade, dog? <laughs> Dude, imagine Brayden having, like, uh, you know, um, like, the CIA shades. You know, the ones where you see on, um, uh, on town, where you play as the CIA. Um guys in the black suits and stuff I imagine if he has shades like that now that would be cool right there <laughs> oh my god bro i'm rocking the door uh the the dyer's next stream well let's have a look uh i got some dyer shades uh, uh dyer shades i gotta wear them on the stream because I'm cool. Hey, did it be cool to see these dire street uh, dire shades? I don't know what they're. I don't know what dire shades are. Is it is it dire di all? <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. So yeah, that's oh wait. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, them shades. The more of the the square ones, the cool guy shades. I guess you got. I don't know. Sleek shades, and then he's got the cool guy shades where they're more square. Um, <laughs> cool dude shades. <laughs> you know where you know the shades from the uh, <laughs> you know the cool guy emoji where he's got the shades. <laughs> oh, poggy woggy, yeah. <laughs> How are you? But glad to see you coming into the stream. I'd say, Billy. How are you doing today, man? Hopefully, you're having a great day, with the man. Pleasure to see you coming by in today's stream. Do definitely gain some sweat on the old uh, eyes. Brayden. Oh, no, 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 no. We do not want that. Guy. How are you? Uh, oh, that's a rare sight. What's good, Billy? Josh. Uh, Billy says Josh Washy. Say that three times fast. <laughs> it's Billy Wonka. Billy Wonka, Billy Wonka, Billy Wonka. I'm normally, like, I don't know, like, with them kind of things, you say it fast three times, they pronounce his name or something. I'm guessing it pronounces a name or something like that. Raiden would uh, would look totally dangerous with your shades, AD. I do like, can imagine Raiden, he's like, uh, got the shades on. He's got the, he's, he's playing some fun. His favourite map, he's playing some fun. He's got the shades on. You know, he's rocking the China Lake, you know. Cool guy style. Ooh, guy style. <laughs> oh my god. But now, honestly, Brandon will look awesome with Shane. I think I could see Brain, I could see Strain, I could see you, E, you know. You guys are quite cool with shades. I'd recommend, though, if you guys are going to wear shades, wear, like, well, we don't have tinted black or not so tinted but it will be hard to play like this is okay hey welcome back into the stream though ethan welcome back in when i shoot my ak i'm wearing shades i think i've seen that actually brain yeah got the ak you're wearing the shades things are looking cool man you know? Yeah, that was pretty cool. I think I've seen the one as well of the M1911 and, um... What was the other one? It was the... AK-47, the M1911, and I think... Was it a rifle? I think it was the M4. Or did you show that into a stream? I think, I think you might have shown it into a stream. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god.
Nice one. Not too bad so far. That's why I should uh that's why it should be Braden. If you're shooting an AK, you better be wearing some cool glasses. Oh yeah, dude, wearing the cool guy glasses. You know. I don't I don't know what would make it even cooler as well. Probably having a uh a, a cigar or something. Or an elf bar. An elf bar would be extra cool. You know? <laughs> now if we're talking about flavour, blue raz flavour. <laughs> oh, we got a max. No, we don't. But it's kind of rough right there. Oh, calm down. Oh, insta kill, though. That's not too bad. Can we get a max ammo? Actually. Oh no, have we scradoodled up? Surrounded. Come on, blow up! Oh, there we go, that was awesome right there, man. Oh, is that the last zombies as well? I think that is. Rand says, it was an AR-15 pretty much, an M4 civilian. Oh, okay, that's really cool, man. It's crazy how you guys, like, I'm guessing that the laws over there for, uh, for firearms and stuff. But, dude, that's so cool, man. It would be awesome if there was, like, a, like, like an allowance to... Well, I think there is an allowance. Like, you have to have, um... Uh, what is it? A, uh... What's it called? A license to own a firearm, but it would be cool if... I don't know, they... If it was a bit, like, over there to over here, but... I don't know. Edgy advertising, nicotine. Cancel is <laughs> Yeah, nah, probably shouldn't have said that. Probably shouldn't have said that, you know? <laughs> Oh my god. Bro said an elf bar. <laughs> that hero makes you extra, extra cool. Nah, I'm joking, it doesn't. Elf bar is the opposite. You yeah, know, it's bad for your lungs. Don't want to do that, guys. Don't, don't want to do that, though. Bad. <laughs> Dude, imagine just, just, just get a notification from YouTube. You have been warned. Stop advertising these products. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. A big shout out to everyone in the chat. Please like the video. Hey, factuals from its EJ YouTube channel. I do appreciate it, man. Welcome to the stream as well, dude. Glad to see you coming in. Thanks as well, though, man. Factuals right there, dude. If you guys are enjoying it, new to the channel as well. Be much appreciated. Hit in the uh, like and subscribe you know, get us closer we're, we're you know we're pretty much on the grind for 1.3k trying to get closer to that 2.2k uh, grind but hey how are you doing today AJ? pleasure to see you coming to the stream man hopefully having a wonderful day over there bro let me just quickly just get this real quick nice one Bro is hiding tears in those shades. <laughs> we made a fun of his elf bars. <laughs> My elf bar. <laughs> hey, that, that's another good thing, you know. If, if, if there's anything like, you know, you cringe or anything like that, the, these things do help out. Yeah, no, I'm dying of that. Those things do help out. Oh, my God. Talk about flavour though, I've got um blueberry raspberry lemonade, which is pretty good. Pretty good flavour. Okay, right, it's right over there. Oh sorry about that guys. The Wi-Fi is playing around. No, it's all cool. Oh, it's all cool. Don't don't be sorry as well, EJ. It happens at times as well, man. Wi-Fi, you know, it, it can either go. Your Wi-Fi can either go really well, or at times it just doesn't do the best, you know? It's understandable as well, man. It's all cool, though. Don't be sorry. Nah, take a puff, bro. You're looking like a model when you puff like that. <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> nah. Oh, <look laughs> probably look like a weirdo. Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. 
I don't. Not the reason to be wearing these shirt, uh, these shades. No, I'm just just wearing them just to. I don't know. They can step. <laughs> Blue raspberry lemonade flavor. Yeah, <laughs> Oh my god. I guess, yeah, you're right there. It pretty much just is that, you know. <laughs> oh my god, man. Jesus. Yeah, now, nah, in all truth, so it is not good having, you know, a, you know, vape. And I don't recommend, seriously, though, don't recommend it to anyone. Genuinely don't. It's not good for anyone. Um. But yeah, again, it's all cool, EJ. It does happen again with the Wi Fi. My Wi Fi does it at times as well. Bro, it just messes up and stuff. I need to remember the mission. Ensure the timelines aren't disrupted. Ah, oh, shit. Kind of late for that. I love the new setup. Hey, I do appreciate it, Jay. Thank you, man. Yeah, the new setup, it's just going pretty good. We're getting used to it, I'd say, Jay. We're getting used to it, bro. You know? Um, I mean, you see all these other people, like, you know, other people that do face cam. Just sort of giving it a try, you know? I guess it's. I guess it's the new norm for face cam, or not really the new norm, but it's, you know, it's just like normal to see some of it, so I thought, hey, we'll give it a try, we'll see what it's like, you know, better to start sooner than never, you know, but hey, I do appreciate it, thank you, man, thank you, bro, <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad, we might try and get some new overlays for the stream as well, that might be pretty good, I think we've been using the same overlay for quite some time now, Need to get of a need to get a bit of a an upgrade, I would say. Max, new setup as well. I do appreciate it. Thank you guys, honestly. I'm, I'm happy you guys do like it and stuff, you know. Hey, thank you as well. He's been a member for four months. That is insane right there, dude. Honestly, you guys becoming a member is insane. W's right there. Respect right there in the chat for for E right there. Do appreciate it. Thank you, E. Thank you so much, man. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm a member of the channel. Hopefully, it's definitely worth it. You know, we got Panic Slow coming to the stream as well. Saying yo, H E A, welcome to the stream as well. Panic, pleasure to see you coming to the stream as well, my man. We're on a bit of the giant. We're doing a challenge where we can't use no gobble gums nor AATs. Just classic playthrough, which is pretty good. But how are you doing today, Panic? Hope you're having a great day over there. Yeah, no AATs, no gobble gums. It, it's for sure going to be an interesting challenge. I think we can do pretty good as well. Things might be on our side here, you know? I don't know what round we can get up to, though. I have no clue, dude. AK. Oh, Brayden, which one do you prefer? AK or AR? From my limited experience uh, with both preferred ARs, we'll see. Um, we'll see. This is actually looking kind of rough right here. See, AK or AR. See, I don't know, like, I guess you'll have to look, have to look at, um, you know, recoil control or, I don't know, um, lightness of the weapon. Honestly, I've never fired an AK or an AR, but I'm just guessing there would have to be some of the things that would be to people's favorite. And I guess as well as the body of the gun, like the look of it as well, you know? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is gonna turn out real bad. You guys. Hello. Nice one. Look at that. That's awesome right there. Yes, things are looking to our side right now, guys. We're doing pretty good. I've seen your setup change. Um, either says, I've seen your setup um, change up throughout the past. Yeah. You're doing good, man. Hey, again, like, hey, I do appreciate it as well, man. It's It's been going pretty good, to be honest. I mean, you know, like, if, it would, if, if I could, like, help you guys out with your setups as well, you know, I recommend if you guys want any, um, you know, cool overlays for your stream, using stream elements is one key thing. Uh, you know, you might have to buy for an overlay, but, you know, that stream elements could really help you out. Really, really, yeah, help you out with getting a nice overlay. Or you could make your own overlay if 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 you're feeling creative. You know, if you want to have your own kind of style, your own style of an overlay. 
you know. And if you're interested in that, I recommend Pixelare is probably the place to go to. That's good, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, the new one we've got, I've tried going for more of like a, like obviously it doesn't move and stuff, but more of like, I don't know, a shaded overlay, like on the bottom line and stuff. But yeah, it's not too bad. Definitely might need a bit of an update though. In real life, I'd prefer the AR, but in games, I prefer the AK. That's fair, John. I feel you there, man. See, the, you know, I guess the body of the AK, you know, that looks nice. You've got the nice, uh, you know, wooded stock with the barrel. That looks quite good, you know what I mean? Can't go wrong with that. But I guess in terms of, like, using the weapon, yeah, probably the AR, to be fair. I mean, they're both very popular guns. The AR and the AK. But yeah. Oh my god. Okay, wow. That was close. I probably don't want to use this gun anymore because this gun's just kind of... I don't know. It's good, but at the same time, it's just not really helping us out. Okay, snow! Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this area is kind of sketch, dude. God, you guys showing the angry emoji. <laughs> I've calmed down now. So we're all good? Okay, that, that's all good. That's all good. Yeah, you know, I... Yeah, now let's just all chill out, guys. Well, it's all been, already been showing out, but you know. We've got this, guys. Okay, right. Let me just sort this out. I'm as long as, as, long as we get to kill. Alright, okay, that's not too bad right now. That's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, we can't use any AATs. That's the tough part, man. Okay, right, guys. Well, we just need to go to the toilet real quick, but we'll just be two seconds, everyone. Two seconds, guys. Just two seconds, though, guys. Just going to quickly go to the toilet. I don't know. Oh, before we go, though, um, Wildfire says playing some Rebirth right now. Nice one, uh, Wildfire. That sounds pretty good. Oh, there. How are you feeling about the new map, actually? You feeling it's pretty good and stuff, or... Um, because apparently, I don't know, the map looks a little bit different, I think, with the, uh, colour and stuff, the shade of the game, shade of the map. I don't know, it says, oh, AG, getting a taste of the real zombies challenge. We're giving it a try, and we're finally giving it a try, man. What's good, bros? Hey, we're doing, we're doing pretty good outside, and we're having a good day over here, man. We're finally taking part in the challenge that you and Timmy got us to play. And yeah, we're gonna see what it's like, man. But glad to see you come to the stream, bro. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a great day over there. Rizman game, and you already know we got the Rizzle T Man coming into the stream. <laughs> Hell yeah, how are we doing today as well, Jordan? Hopefully, you're having a great Wednesday over there. Just gonna quickly go to the toilet, guys. We'll be back and we over to answer. It's two sex, guys, two sex.
Okay, right guys, we are back in. Uh, let me just quickly go back on the game. John though says, then again, the AK I shot had nothing else. And a uh, charging handle clipped my uh, clipped my hand, whereas the AR-15 I shot a uh, custom red dot suppressor um, and was so brown, he named it <laughs> Khalifa. <laughs> So I guess the AR could probably handle a bit more. Uh, could be a, could be. I guess the AR could have smoother handling in a way. I don't know if that could be a uh, 24 likes. Hey, thank you, John. I do appreciate it. 24 likes in the stream, guys. That is insane. If we try and get up to 25, that would be awesome right there. You know, 25 likes in the stream. That'd be a W for sure, guys. But hey, glad to see it comes to stream as well, Jordan and Adam. Toilet stream. Oh man. Honestly, the toilet stream. <laughs> it would just a white, but it be a tiny, small room fine. if it's a toilet. You, know? <laughs> you can even see the shower in there as well. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I thought that was the next round then. Are you on some um? Are you on some games tonight, Jordan? You're doing some games tonight, man. Jordan, so basically, got all the uh, bases. Uh, covered. Cold steel. Uh, John says, yep. Also, a comparison between AKs and IRs in real life. I asked Braden to try uh, bury the hatchet, but... Uh, yeah, for, for a newcomer like me, the AR was uh, 15 times... Uh, uh, AR was way easier to handle. Okay. I guess with the AR... I think, anyway, the AR's... Uh, um, was made more recently than the AK, I'm guessing, which is good. Uh, well, I mean, not good. Well, I'm guessing the AR was made later uh, later on. Like, the AK was probably made, you know, like, quite a while back with the AR being in front of the AK. So it's a bit more um, advanced in terms of handling, the way of the gun, how you handle it. Hopefully that made sense. Get a team for Rebirth OG. Gonna ask Grammo want to run this nuke. Oh, that'd be pretty cool, John. I'd definitely be up for that, man. I'd actually be up for that, bro. Yeah, I haven't, again, haven't really played much Modern Warfare 3, to be honest. But that would be cool right there, dude. Do some Rebirth and stuff. Try and go for the nuke. Um, you know, that'd be actually pretty cool. I haven't, dude, haven't done Rebirth in ages, man. Oh, my God. And plus, the new nuke, I wonder what it's like. It'd be cool to see what the new nuke will be like, to be honest. Adam, though, says, I don't know, not really the same gun. AR shoots 223s, and the AK shoots 7.62s. So, you'd only need an AK if you're trying to pierce armor. Like, my 30 um, to uh, 30 to 0, 06 is uh, plenty, but 300 with mag is stronger. Okay, I'm guessing, like, the numbers are the... It, it, it's like what bullet type it is. I know you can get a 7.62, I think. I don't know what that is. I think that's for an assault rifle, if I'm correct. I think they have that on Modern Warfare, which is pretty cool. Gun, lots of holes. Ooh. Um, if we get the contracts there, uh, if we get the contract... Um, there is a bypass glitch to unlock the nuke rewards without actually doing the nuke. Oh, really? So you don't actually have to, like, there's actually a way how to get through doing all the BS difficult parts and just Not being able to get the nuke relatively the fast, jaws. you know, not having to do all the kind of annoying work for it. If we were to do that, we could have a bit of a night out, of, not a night out, but, you know, like a night where we're all trying to grind for it and stuff. Uh, getting some bad guns here. I don't know if a Reagan might help out. Ah, uh, Reagan might not. Eh, uh, shotguns. Uh, you know what? A shotgun might. 
Eh, I don't know. I don't know if a shotgun would be good or not. I think a shotgun or an LMG. You know what? An LMG will do. LMGs will do. Adam, though, says... Um, if, oh, no, my bad. Um, before Adam, though, John, though, says, however, I don't recommend a 10.5 in barrel uh, AR without a suppressor. Um, that shit is scary to fire. I'm guessing, like, probably the recoil just goes haywire or something like that. Um, Adam, though, says, um, if you get the jack on, you can camp a few more rounds on the catwalk. Um, I've never shot a gun with a suppressor, just a compens uh, compensator. I'm guessing a compensator is the thing that um, lowers the, uh, the how can I say, the, the fireball that comes out the barrel. I'm guessing that's it, if I'm correct. Could be wrong, though. I don't know, in video games, they always show the suppressor to be um, something that, you know, whitens your gun sound, but always makes your recoil of, the recoil of your gun extremely out of, like, place, which I don't know if that's true or not. You know, like, when you get a suppressor on, like, a SMG, and the recoil just goes all over the place. I don't know if that's implemented into real life. Some people have said it's not, you know? Shotguns is good for when you run traps because of dogs. Or you know what? Tra shotguns might have to be the way then. I feel like if we're running traps now, it might be a bit... It, it might have to be the way, man. But like, this is this is what we can try and do. So go through here. Get a bunch of zombos. Get a bunch of these guys. You go through here. And then, yeah, I guess if, like, that dog were to come out and just, you know, nip the back of our side or something, we might be screwed, you know? So I guess a shotgun might help out in this case. Plus, we're running with an LMG. We're not really doing the best here in terms of guns. So this might be a good spot to train, though, so I feel like, anyway... Check it out. The funk song, brother. I don't know. His, his, his quote just reminded me of that. Check it out now. It's the, um, the numbers are the size of the bullet slash counter, says John. The 5.56 times 45 um, AR 15 slash M4 is a smaller is a smaller but faster round than the 7.62 times 39 uh, AK47 round than the 7. Point, uh, 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 round the 7.62 is a bigger round but sometimes it does less damage to humans really oh, okay i normally think bigger the more like the bigger obviously the bigger the more damage but i'm guessing due to the velocity of the bullet you know, the, the the speed it's going through, you know, I guess the, potentially the lighter, the faster in a way, or I don't know. So I know you've got different types of ammunition. You've got, um, I, I don't know the names for them, but I, I've only seen it in video games. I don't know, I don't, you know, where you've got like flat tips. I, I, I know that's not what you call them, but they look like flat tips. Yeah, that's what they would be called. That's what they seem like they would be called flat tips. And do you actually have incendiary round? I don't know if that's a real type of round, but if that is, that's insane, man. Having it incendiary rounds or explosive rounds? <laughs> oh my god. John is saying he needs to shoot his gun. <laughs> For the suppressor. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, bro. It's a misty. Hey, yo, what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What the? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Oh, God, man.
I need to go down to my buddies, Duck Camp. They'll probably have a gun with a suppressor and a drum mag. They're gun nuts. Oh, dude. I, mean, I can just imagine, you know, Adam going down the camp, you know, he's got the campsite, he's got the fire, you know, his mates have just got all these crazy loadouts, I'm going to say, you know, the loadouts, the weapons, you know. I'm guessing they're going to have, you know, their camouflage is gold as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Gun with gold camo. Nice one. Oh god, I don't wish the yard I'm just used to it. <laughs> so saying <laughs> shit. <laughs> like uh uh oh uh, giggity giggity. <laughs> I got your ticket. Oh my letter, god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't make your gun silent, says John, but it won't give you hearing damage either. Um, oh yeah, with, with suppressors and stuff, yeah, like, I've seen them on videos where they, obviously they shoot a suppressed weapon, and it doesn't, like, completely take the sound off as if you're playing, like, when they show on video games, the sound gets taken away. The bang sound. I mean, in real life, as it seems, it seems to just, it's, it suppresses the sound, but at the same time, it doesn't cut the sound off. Like, you can still hear the the bullet hitting the air at such a high speed where it's hitting that, making that sound still. But um, for long ranges, it kind of, it doesn't make such a sound further on, I'm guessing. Oh, ooh, uh. okay, nice one. I like my SKS more like an AK-47, says Braden. So I like my AR-15 uh, more, but but not fair. E uh, but not uh, but not fair really to compare them. Oh, oh not fair really to compare them. I don't know. Could it be the reason due to the AK being older than the AR-15? I don't know where the AR-15 would have originated from. Because I know the AK would have would was probably made in the. Well, I mean, it was. I'm gonna guess the AK was made in like the 60s, if I'm correct. Would the AR would have been made in like I don't know, somewhere in like the 80s? I don't know. Um. Cool guns, but ammo is so expensive for those, Braden. Uh, kind of hard to enjoy shooting. Jeez, that was way too close. I'm guessing the ammunition on them. It, it takes a lot of it's a lot of cash to buy the ammo for these types of guns, you know. Yeah, AK is older and uses different rounds. Yeah, I think I think John had said with, with the rounds it. Yeah, AK is 7.62, 7 I think. Is that the name for it? Um, guns are basically a bit like handheld fireworks in, in a metal case, uh, but a lot more fun, honestly. It does sound like it. It generally sounds like a lot of fun, man. Like, But obviously, you know, you want to be careful uh, with shooting them. I mean, uh, I guess anyone could say that. You, you want to be careful, you know, health and safety and stuff. Um, but, yeah... I guess if you shoot it, in, if you're using a firearm in a safe environment, controlled and legal environment, then yeah, no, that's that's. I'm kind of hopeful that this Richtofen's gonna turn out better than the last. Really, one. was it actually John? Made in the 60s, in the 60s, where the AK was made in the 40s to the 30s. Really, I would have actually never known that. I would have thought it would like the AR would have been like a. I don't know. I don't know why. I guess because it looks a bit more modern. Well, I guess they've renovated it to look more modern, but yeah, the first time I seen an AR, I would have thought it would have been like early 2000s or something like that, you know? That's actually pretty interesting though, man. So the AK is uh, 7.62 times 39. Okay, okay. And the AR-15 is um, 0.223 or 5.56. Oh. 
See, I've heard of 5.56 off of, like, video games like Modern Warfare 3 and stuff. They have the, uh, what is it, the TAC V 5.66, or no, 5.56, I think, yeah, the TAC V. Or the cast off 7.62, or something like that. Which is kind of cool. Uh, hey, we've got Justin, they come into the stream, says, yo, Alex. Hey, what's up, Justin? Glad to see you come to the stream, man. Oh yeah, dude, we're just on a bit of Black Ops 3 Zombies. We're on some BF3 Zombies for today's stream. And we're doing no gums, no AATs, Justin. Gonna give it a try for the stream, man. It's a pleasure to see you coming by, bro. Free refill. Oh, hope, you're, yeah. uh, hope your Wednesday is going great over there, my man. Glad to see you come to the stream. Okay. Yeah, it's quite interesting with all bullet types, you know. 223 was um, more fun to shoot and it and is all the firepower you need in any situation. 223. Would, would like a 223 be like um mm -hmm. would be like for uh 223. I I'm just thinking for a name like would that be like for a, a P90 for example or um an AN94, perhaps? I don't know. An a I know, but obviously an AN94 and a P90, both their ammos are completely different. A P90 has different ammo, like very small ammo. I've seen that before. I wonder what the AN94 ammo is like, though. Is it the same as the AK? I don't know. Yeah. Same with AK, says Joy. And Dunham says, personally, I didn't, th I didn't like shooting. Uh, my buddy's AK. Too much recoil. Oh, damn. Just, I guess got too much kick towards it. Just not not so best to weigh in with. I guess you want a gun. You want a firearm, you know, that's accurate. That is able to control itself. To shoot. That doesn't have so much of a kick, but has the power. You know? Have you guys seen the gun that shoots um, around corners? Yeah. That was a a gun, I guess, from World War Two, I think, that they uh, that were they initially made. So you know, if they're ever in a combat situation, you know, and there's enemies behind the wall and they don't want to risk their life, they can you know use the barrel that curves around the wall, and um, yeah, they could you know deal the situation that way without themselves being hurt. Yes, I did see it as well, though, Brand, which is pretty cool. Oh, damn, this gun's not doing as much damage as I thought. Time to fry, freak nuggets. That's a, the, 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 there's a new one. Really, there's actually a new one that can actually go through corners and stuff. Hopefully, I, I think the last one, it wasn't uh, that good. They said, I think I've read it on a documentary, though, and they said it wasn't that good and stuff. Uh, you have a webcam on, Alex. You have a webcam on, Alex. Yeah, so we got the webcam on, I'd say. It's, it's not looking too bad, Justin. You know, hopefully it's, um, hopefully it's like, good quality and stuff. But, yeah, we're, I guess we're just giving it a try, just seeing what it's like, you know. Having a good time with it, Justin. But, hey, yeah, it's... I guess it's a bit of a change, just seeing what it goes like, you know? Oh yeah, it's straight out of the movie. Gun flips in half, and they have a uh, screen to see around the corners. Oh, damn, so, like, this is literally an upgrade, yeah? Uh, uh, no, I mean, uh, literally an upgrade, like, it's called the corner shot, really? That is interesting, man. I mean, you've got a camera that you can see, like, that could show you what is through the corner. Um, I mean... I could see that being quite helpful as well. Not today, freak bags. I ain't going down like this. <laughs> John though says, uh, 
uh, I love how uh, I love how we can teach AG about gun and ammo, while AG can teach us about mighty beans on toast and uh, and North <laughs> Oh my god! I'm telling you, man, the key for beans on toast. You want to put? Yeah, you know what? Having beans on toast is, I'm telling you, brother, uh, uh, there's so many keys for having it, you know, they make you fat, you know, they give you extra protein, you know. <laughs> hey, man, what is better than having beans on toast? Nothing, you know, because beans on toast is the main thing to have. It's a chef's kiss. It is the chef's kiss. You're AG, uh, yeah, oh no, yo AG, heading back into work, hey, no problem as well, EJ, hopefully you enjoyed it, I hope you had a good time over there, thank you for coming to the stream, my man, and I'll catch you in the next one, AG, W's in the chat for, W's in the chat for EJ, though, have an amazing day over there, man, thank you for coming to the stream, bro, have a great day over there as a work as well, hope you enjoy it, oh, we're looking a little bit close, a gun that bends around the corner. It sounds very dumb. Uh, it sounds like a very dumb, hard to um, dumb, hard to use gimmick. You'd have an easier time bending a spoon with your mind. <laughs> Not working. Gun. <laughs> I don't know how it would be like in terms of firing the bullet and stuff. Like, I don't know how it would work out. I feel like the barrel would start to bend out even more like if because obviously the bullet would have to bend around the barrel i don't know you would probably have to use a lot of grease on the barrel you know for the bullet to kind of like i don't know curve through the barrel easier if you know what i mean beans on toast sounds like low sounds low on flavor high on farts i'm telling you man honestly man you got to give it a try it if anyone said it's low on flavor they haven't tried the real beans on toast. Now, beans on toast with marmite, as well as pickled eggs. Ooh, ooh. Now that is a uh, that is a true king's meal right there. Yes. And having a fun after beans on toast. Mm. I'm telling you, it is literally like gassing a room. The best, uh, the best food to have if you want to make the room uh, <laughs> stench. Nah, I don't know. It actually looks pretty cool. Like the front part of, of uh the front part is the gun and the back part holds holds all the software. I think it just shoots nine millimeter. Hey, even the F9 millimeter is like I guess a smaller smaller bullet size and stuff. Even even if it's a smaller bullet size, that's still good right there. I mean you gotta see the technology put into something like that. Like a camera that can see through a wall. Like no not through a wall, but obviously can bend round to see over a wall like that's that's quite extreme right there i don't know what it would this device would be like long term like you know would the barrel start to overstretch would there be any issues with it you know what i mean but it would be quite interesting yeah if i needed to fart so bad i'll just drink a ton of black coffee oh, at least that has more flavor <laughs> <laughs> no way, honestly, I, you guys gotta try beans on toast from there. I'm telling you, you guys might really like it. I don't know if you guys have not, haven't, have done it before, but if you haven't, I do recommend it. Um, I mean, the, the, the flavour, right, of bread with, with tomato, with tomato kind of like sauce, you know, around the beans. Ooh, you put a bit of salt and pepper on it. Really nice, honestly. Ben says, I'm sorry, but English food sounds like the worst goujines uh, in the world. No way, you made it. What? No way, dude. Alright, you know, I can understand with something. Like, let's say. 
I don't know. Marmite on toast? Okay, yeah, that stuff is disgusting. I don't know if you... I don't know. Marmite on toast is yuck, you know? Or probably even um, some of the puddings we have over here. Like, I don't know why people are a big fan of... Um, I would say Yorkshire puddings. Not really a big fan of them. Although they can be nice. I don't. I think they're a bit overrated. Probably. Pork pies. I think that's pretty stale. It can be nice, but pork pies, I don't know. Have you, I don't know if you guys have tried pork pies before. Over there, though, I mean... I don't know. I mean, you, to be honest, though, in the US, you guys have brought in some... Even though, like, a lot of the food, you know, might have been... Like, uh, like with preservatives and stuff. Like, I mean, you guys have made some pretty nice tasting foods out there, you know, like, I'm not even saying it's a joke. KFC, McDonald's, like, I mean, that's everyone eats that. And, you know, you guys brought that over to here, which is a pleasure. The more British the food gets, the more disgusting it sounds. I'm telling you, man, if you have a. <laughs> Just thinking, I'd say. How about. I don't know what would be good. Like, <laughs> I'm guessing the norm over here must be like the disgusting over there, you know? Alright, JD, you gotta go down on 40, bro. Can't have your beat and my BB on the first attempt. Nah, we had to do a second attempt as well on them. But, you know, we, I, you know, I feel your pain. We could try and do uh, a thing like that. We could try and go down on, um,. We can go down on 39. We'll just get our perks, you know, just to make it good. That's how we got you. <laughs> to be honest, though, I, yeah, actually, wait, did we actually have a down? Okay, no, last game, break, uh, Adam, we did actually have a down, and it was terrible, man. You know? You know what uh, What I think about it. I can't say I've never had a British restaurant. Um, I don't know. It's all right. I, I don't even know what you could say about a British restaurant. All right, I'd say, what are the mains of a British restaurant? Like, for example, what did I have? All right, so we went over a couple, about a week ago, to order some food. And I think someone had fish and chips. Someone else had kebab with chips. And then I had mac and cheese. So it's normal food, you know? Or you can have, like, you know, there's... You guys honestly need to come over here one day. You guys might like it. Don't knock it until you try. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's definitely not his first attempt. Yeah, we, we did die. We did die. <laughs> Just playing, bro. Get it flawless? Nah, nah, nah. You know what, bro, Adam? We, you never know. We might actually go down. We might actually go down, dude. We never know, bro. But I mean, oh, hey. Honestly, it's a tricky map. We, yeah, it is a tricky map. Uh, we literally died from the dogs. Yeah, John, fish and chips is awesome, dude. Fish and chips is the stuff. You know, you can't go wrong with some fish and chips, man. You know, chippy on the side. Yeah, thank you. I do appreciate it, Brandon. It says, uh, Asia, I do like the thumbnail. Um, one thing I do notice is I can never tell what map it is. <laughs> yeah, I... See, I've, like... And, I mean, other people are really able to do it much better in terms of doing thumbnails. Like, Cam, he was able, like, I liked his thumbnails where he had, like, the um, outro of the gun where it could glow and stuff. But, yeah, you see some people are able to get the background in and, like, still have, like, the objective in front. Do try and do that, but I, I just don't know if you can do that, you know? Tried having the um the teleporter in the background, Brennan, but I'm guessing it just I guess with too much blur it probably didn't match up. Um if you're interested though, Brennan, if, if with thumbnails, um Pixel RE is a really good thumbnail site. It really is like really helpful and stuff. I could help out if, if you need any help and stuff with thumbnails. I'm I'm not perfect with thumbnails though, but I could help out. I could help out. We will get into the game. Sorry guys. Yeah, we don't really need them. Good job, 
Shit. Try about it. Honestly, fishing ships are quite nice. But I know it's not everyone's time of, type of style, though. Maybe John, though, says Braden. No authentic places around here for that. Now, nah, honestly, like, I don't know if, well, like, I don't know if some people say, like, the food over here is authentic. It's, eh. Like, fishing ships over here is classed as, like, comfort food. I think that's what you call it comfort food, or, you know, food that tastes really good. And, you know, like, when. Um, like, say a McDonald's chips, you know, that starts to get cold and stuff. The taste goes away. That's the same with fish and chips over here. It's, um, I don't know if it's all flavoring for fish and chips, but it, it's the same over here, too. Fish and chips are, I wouldn't say, a, a, an extremely healthy option over here. Definitely not healthy. Ah, oh, we like have uh, Italian restaurants, Mexican, Indian restaurants, Vietnam, Chinese, Japanese, and traditional American cuisine. So yeah, like we do have similar places like that over here too. I'd say Adam, um, you know, it's I guess I wouldn't say Italian, but a lot of Indian places. Which hey, they do some really good curries. Uh, I'm not personally a big fan of curry, but you know, but hey, over there though, that sounds good. You know, you guys can have spaghetti bolognese. You guys can have Mexican food. Oh, have a twist of, you know, uh, have a twist of Chinese food. You know, try some um, Indian food. See what that's like. And it's pretty cool, man. So I'm guessing you guys have uh, an all-out just list of all types of different foods you can try. Again, over here, we, we, do have, we do have some good places over here. Like, I think... In this little town we're in, we've got, um, they've got some more chicken shops. Chicken, I guess you could say, like, version, like, I don't know. Basically KFC, but not, actually, no, not KFC, not at all KFC. Just chicken shops. Which is quite nice. Um, chicken lives on McDonald's. Hell yeah, dude, McDonald's 24-7, you know? <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh my god. There's one of those says, oh, I don't know. A palam, okay. He says, um, plain food is it, it is standard. Plain food it is standard. I mean, I guess like in terms of plain food over here, I guess like I don't know. Vegetables are quite plain. Like who likes veggie? I guess veggie's nice though, but I mean uh, you know, you could have your nice beef burger. You know? Um, we had a British restaurant here, Adam. It didn't go well. I remember the menu was so meh. Really? It just wasn't the best. Um, that's a bad move, bro, says Adam. Um, I did that once, and a zombie spawned from the window. They keep the eyes. Uh, 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 always keep the eyes forward. Yeah, dude, I, f I think we're going to need that, man. Honestly, because that's the issue. Like, I feel like, especially with this map, I'd say, Adam, the zombies just get you when you don't expect it. Like, you know... Especially when you come around that court like that. But like, no, when you come around this corner, you've now got a... You've got a zombie that's coming from that corner and you're going around there. It'll just come out of you out of nowhere. You know? Just completely block you in. I mean, that's how we died, actually, last game. This map is genuinely challenging. Like, I'm not even saying that, man. Um, always found Giant to be a, a bit of a strenuous map. The Durris, not so much. Kind of. Not so much. You know? Spaghetti bottom of red is nice. Oh, spaghetti is good. Spaghetti is uh, hits the spot for sure, Desmond, though. Great food to have. Um, spaghetti. You can have curries, which is quite good. You've got Chinese food over here, which can be nice, you know? Or some nice Chinese food. It'd be nice getting a max ammo, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I don't mean to do that. Damn it. Oh, I guess, well. Oh, 
Oh my god. No. <laughs> I never had curry. Come to think of it. Oh no way, John. Bro, you might enjoy it, man. Um, curry, like. <laughs> well, actually, over here, they have, um, they do curries, but they have chips with it, like, like, chippy chips, which is kind of funny, but, um, curry, you know, like, chicken curry, ooh, that could be nice, and if you're a spicy kind of guy, like, you, you like to have spice on, with your food, I think you'll really like curry, man, curry hits the spot for some people, some people just adore curry. Um, just one that says bean board, Adam, uh, was playing on Xbox One, but can't just, uh, can't connect to the Xbox 360 servers. Corruption, I think, has, um, he's another UK lad. Yeah, yeah, Tismundo's an another person from the UK, you know, it's a big shout out to Tismundo, you know. It's crazy, though, I, it, it, you know, I, we got all sorts of people from the world here, which is awesome. Generally, uh, you know, humbled from that and stuff. But yeah, Tesmundo's from the UK, I which is so awesome, man. Awesome right the there. <laughs> Juicy food is lovely. Or oh, if we're talking like... No, like... I know... I know, I know some people have like... Talk about like juicy food. I don't even know if be classed as food, but... What is it? It's jello with fruit. I haven't had it before. Well, I've tried it a couple of times before, but... About that little sign. What exactly 35 any downs apply? luckily no evan we've had no downs luckily this game but luckily that that word is staying there because we're pretty lucky at this point you know the only reason why it's, i think we're because we've got the wonder wall you know so things looking quite good but who knows who knows evan it might be a down next game who knows? <laughs> but hey glad to see you back into the stream evan oh Evan, are you doing a stream tonight, bro? Like, I guess, like, any subscribers game, anything like that. I just got to scratch my eye, but I can... Hmm, says Adam. I had someone tell me the servers, um, yeah, the servers all have codes for their IP. And you can mainly set the code uh, on your router. Need to ask um, Maniac again, because I looked at my router. Um, I looked at my router, but I didn't find what, he's, uh, oh, what he said and stuff. Hmm, okay. Um, I'm just thinking, so if it's due with IP, I think the only... If, if it's in terms of you finding your IP, see, I wouldn't know anything about this. But if it's, I guess you're trying to find your IP, IP Adam. I don't know if it, on your computer you could probably try and find your IP address. It would probably be through the settings, the network settings, I think, bro. That would probably have to be it, you know. Even though, says, I'll probably use the Locust, SVG, or Draken in the 40s. They are some of the strongest damage weapons on BO3. I think that might have to be the case, to be honest, Evan. I mean, we tried using the KRM. Probably not the best gun to use. We tried using... Well, now we're trying to use the... Uh, okay, yeah, this gun's not the best as well. So I think we might have to try and use the Drakon, I think. Bro! Yeah, Drakon might have to be it, for, I think. It would be nice. It, it, if we get lucky with Dracon, that's a plus. That's a plus for sure. We just, just want to chill out a little bit, though. Just relax up, you know? <laughs> Things are looking, looking a little bit spicy, I'm not going to lie. Kind of surprised that we're playing with these shades on. I would have thought we would have been doing terrible. Um, Evan, though, says as well, he says, um, I'm planning on doing BF4 Zombies. Possibly me, a dog commander. I'm going to be running dead of the night, starting him again. But I'm waiting on him to respond. Okay. Hey, that will be, be honestly really cool to see him in some Black Ops 4, man, as well. Recently been feeling some BF4, to be honest, Evan. Have, I guess, have you ever have you ever done the uh, Tag Duran Toten Easter egg before? Or anything like that? I don't know if you're ever interested into it, but i um, seen a little bit about it. And the Easter egg is actually really interesting um, for Tag. With getting Pack-a-Punch, it doesn't seem that difficult, but, you know, doing some of the steps of the Easter egg, you know, finding the codes, talking to, um, I think, is it, is it Peter McCain, I think? The mate, one, of the, one of the Easter egg side guy characters. 
is pretty interesting as well. Uh, yeah, we could probably just wait for Jug later on. Right now, we're chilling. I told him to get the Drac... Uh, I don't know, it says, I don't want to get the Drac on, Evan. Boy, ain't this. And then, nah, we got you, we got you. You know what's going to happen? We're probably going to... We're probably going to fall to our mistakes soon. We might fall to our mistakes, I'm telling you. Who knows, though? Who knows? <laughs> To be honest, though, the giant is not easy. It's not an easy map, man. You know? I don't know. Some people find it more chill. Like, I think I think with Evan, he finds this map more chill. But I'd say the dogs can be ruthless on the giant, dude. Oh Evan, though, says, we are less than 10 away from 4.5k, though, right now. So we're past about that. So we uh, guessed about that. Hey, that is a W right there, man. Putting in the hard work for the channel. We definitely respect it, man. You know, I'm generally going to be excited as well. I'm to see more of the, uh, you know, the videos like the skits, the Evan Guard School series. That's going to be awesome. You know, hopefully everyone's been doing good with their channels and stuff. You know. Yeah, I've done the tag Easter egg before. Oh, did I say tag? Okay, yeah, the tag seems pretty cool. I guess the tag is the last of the last Easter eggs in terms of BO4. Um... Is it the Alpha? Yeah, I meant the Alpha. My bad. The Alpha A Omega Easter egg looks really awesome. I would love to get into that. Uh, see what that's like and stuff. That would definitely be a map that would be so much worth the stream. I don't know, though. It, uh, it's one of them. Hopefully everyone's enjoying the stream, though. Having a good time watching. If you guys are enjoying it, move to the channel. You just came through... It would be much appreciated to hit the like and subscribe, guys. Generally gets to the main goal of 2k. You know, we're taking it step by step. 1.2k, 1.3k. We're getting close to the 1.3k mark, you know? Just wondering how many, uh... How many oh, God, hopefully that didn't crash my game. Okay, no, that didn't. Oh, God. BO3 does that at times where it crashes your game, guys. And it is not fun. Um, okay. want to quickly see as well. How many likes were out? I just can't see it through the um through the through the screen. Hey, 26 likes though, guys. Do appreciate it. Hell yeah, guys. Only four away from 30. Can we get up there? That's only if everyone's enjoying it, having a good time watching. Okay, right. Or windowed. Yeah, honestly, if dogs uh, didn't randomly spawn, um, it would be much. Um, it, it wouldn't be much of a challenge. But they keep you on your toes. They really do, Adam. They really do, man. Like when you talk about training in the STG room, or I guess the KN room, or in the uh, VMP room, and you've got like four dogs spawning at you, it's it's not. It's challenging. I was going to say it's not so fun, but it is fun. It's just, it can sometimes be quite aggravating at times, you know? The first skit is going to, uh, it uh, got taken down from YouTube. Not it. Wait, really? How come? What was the reason for blocking the video? The first skit was the most tame, so I doubt uh, to be able to post the remaining skits. Basically, the constant swearing I did. You're kidding me. What? See, this is one thing you just... I, I, I feel like we could all agree, like, it just doesn't make any sense, right? There's there's a section for YouTube and then YouTube for kids. It literally says YouTube for kids. So, obviously, YouTube would be more adult, you know, humor and stuff, you know? It just doesn't make any sense, man. Um, have you... Have you I don't know. I'm sorry to hello, though, man. We got Zach, though, coming in. He says, I'm playing Moonride now, and something terrible happened while stopping an excavator. I threw a Gersh next to the activator and PI panel in spawn, and I have no more oxygen in the gravity spawn. Oh, no, dude. You're gonna... It, it's either go with the flow of having no oxygen in there, you know, having... Zombies just hovering over you, trying to trap you and shit. Or 
it's trying to find a new strategy area, which I think, you know, I'd say, Zach, if it's... See, I don't know. If, it, if you, you're doing BL1, I think so. BL1, it's going to be different, man. Um, uh, see, I don't know what would be an, a better area to train in on Moon on BO1 other than the spawn room. I don't know if that makes any sense, you know? Oh, God, we messed up a little bit there. It's what I'm talking about. I think they said it's bullying. Like, ah. Uh, um, I'm the only one in the video. How can I be bullying myself? It, it is ridiculous, though. I mean, obviously, if someone was to swear, like, I don't know, swear 10 times in the space of 10 seconds, like, yeah, that would be kind of understandable because it would just be, like, unnecessary swearing. But I don't know if having, like, a... a I guess like a caution before the video, like caution. This video contains strong language, you know? That might be a good idea. I don't know, I was basically violating myself. Yeah, I mean, you was just, you were basically just making it, uh, like, making it into a humour, you know? Making it into a, like, a, like a funny video and stuff. That is kind of silly, though. I would say don't give up on it, though, Evan. Don't, don't give up on it, man. Um, probably, you know, with the next one you do, even if it might sound a bit annoying. Probably like, I don't know, half the amount of half the amount of words that you use for it. I mean, even if it's just moderate words, you know. Like you've got moderate language and then you've got strong language, you know. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know the wolf made crawlers. What the hell? Okay. Interesting. Oh, yeah. This gun's doing poop. Oh, we're going to be screwed here. Oh, okay. No, we're not. We're going to be chilling. Oh, what is that? A nuke. That is. Let's go. Ooh. No, no, I'm taking my max ammo. No! How's the ground look? Ah. Oh. Zach though says I was training in Biodome anyway. But the issue is stopping future the issue is stopping future excavators. I was never training in spawn. Oh okay, so I guess the excavator is the main spot. Would excavators still have air in for you to train in and stuff like that? It was up for a week, says Evan. I have a feeling someone probably reported the video. I mean, look, uh, again, if if it is if it is people unnecessarily reporting the video for just for, for no reason, or be, you know, just for stupid reasons and stuff. Um, I mean, I would say don't be affected by it. I mean, I, well, I, obviously, I know you won't be affected by it and stuff, but. Remember that person that came in yesterday? Which person? Which? Oh, the I guess the fake account. W do you could could it have been that person? If we're referring to that that person, the the person that I guess um I think you you had to ban and stuff from the from the chat Evan. I'm back. Um. I'm just, welcome back in, Martha. Welcome back in, man. Glad to see you back in the stream. My phone died, says he. I just got back from getting some beer for these tacos. Now I'm about to get some grilling. Hell yeah, that's goody. That sounds awesome right there, man. Got a couple beers. Oh, really? Wait, I got a comment from them today 
on a video I did. No way. I can send it to you afterwards. Yeah, if you're over to Evan, try and send it and stuff. It'd be, it'd be nice to figure out and stuff. Because, like, I mean, it, it's pretty obvious of who it is. Again, like, they're just... They're trying to get in the way with doing what everyone's doing. But it really isn't... Um, it really isn't affecting any of us, really. I don't know. I mean, the time of them just wasting their time and coming into your chat, my chat, um, uh, Ramos chat. I mean, they could have been doing so many better things, you know? I don't know. Hopefully, again, I don't know. You know, just keep streaming, you guys. Yeah, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it, man. Yeah, hopefully with your this, I'd say. It would be awesome. I, well, 50 would be glorious. I would not have expected this to be... Um, yeah, would not have expected to get up to 40 like this. But, I mean, our first game was a bit of a down. Um, and wildfires. So, bro. <laughs> How many wildfires are down? <laughs> Thanks, Evan. No diddy. <laughs> And we keep pausing the stream and it I'll go people would probably be like, why is this? Well uh, yeah no, why is this person pausing the stream 24-7? It should just be a, a a stupid podcast, you know? Oh, back out coming to the stream. Someone new showing the tear emoji. Welcome to the stream back out. Glad to see you come to the stream. Might be showing the emoji of tears, but we've got these glasses to hide them at cringy ass. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't even know what that was. But how are you doing today, back out? How is your day going today, man? Welcome to the stream, back out. We're trying a bit of Black Ops 3 zombies. And we're trying to use... We're trying to do a challenge where we don't use any gobble gums or AATs. We're up for the challenge. It says, um, you need to box trade the waff. Uh, oh, no, have you trade... Have, um... Oh no, have you need to box trade the waffle tool? So no, luckily we've not have to we've not had any times we've had to re-spin for the waff, luckily. I think the reason for it, Evan, is because we've been using the trap quite sufficiently. Like the way we've been doing it is we're building hordes. We've been building hordes and we bring them into a big group. And they just keep going into the trap. We build up more zombies. To be honest, right? I've never done a trap strat on BO3 before i uh, would like never done it properly you know this is probably the first time i'm not even uh okay no probably be a free kino but this trap strat is actually very helpful you know yeah them glasses uh <laughs> glasses gla yeah, glass <laughs> but uh, hopefully i'm having a great day man. yeah it's not about a black ops 3 dude Evan, I'd be down, bro. Oh, Evan says, I actually eventually want to do uh, podcasts. I think it would be really cool to have people on and we just talk about whatever. See, that would honestly be sick right there. And just having, like, I don't know, cool conversations about just anything, you know? If it, it anything, like, from theories to people's hobbies, you know, to, to zombies, to other games, you know, things like that, to, to real life things. Like, that would be really cool, man. I generally would be Evan. Um, and plus as well, you know, podcasts. Like, you know, podcasts, they, they seem to be like the... Like, I think Joe Rogan started off a podcast, and then you see everyone else do podcasts. Obviously, some podcasts are a little bit, like, directed to one subject, I've seen. And then you've got other ones that are just, like, all about cool... Like, all about different things, you know? Like, theories, what happened here, what happened there, you know? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man, if we go down on 40, we're going to be really angry. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. We won't be back. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that dog just completely sprinted at us. Oh, my God. Okay. Glishing Queen? Well, let's have a look. Uh, probably podcast name. No Guide Podcast. No Guide Podcasts. Sounds nice. That'd be cool, then. No. The podcast, the No Guide podcast. And I don't know what the intro could be, but it could be like, you know, No Guide, No Guide podcast. Like, coming in, you know, or something like that. You know, something cool, stylish like that, you know, stylist. Ah, oh, Glitching Queen. You know what? I think, Adam, um, talking about them, I'm sure they actually did do a podcast with a, a former 
um, card developer, I think. Now, I didn't see the video, but it, it was shown in Mr. Dalek JD's video. He made a video yesterday talking about it, which is actually very, very cool. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if that, that's what you're on about, but yeah, I think they did a podcast with Glitch McQueen and um, a former COD developer, which is really cool. For a podcast with within this community would be sick. Just talking about anything at all, from real life to video games. Yeah, you know, just having like civil, com like proper normal conversation, just about anything, you know, outside, you know, hearing about other people's situations of different topics, you know. Um, talk about theories, you yeah, know, I don't know, the, the pyramids, you know, or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> something cool like that, you know? That would be awesome, that would be really cool, man. Um, everyone has them podcasts, Mike. Yeah, po podcasts, Mike. Mikes, you know? <laughs> Jordan, though, coming in, dropping three pound in the channel, dude. This guy is crazy with the donos, man. You're insane, Jordan. I do appreciate it, man. <laughs> Today, bro, I um, I, I re-updated all the all the donations and stuff for what people gifted, and um, I, you're crazy man. Didn't have to do that, but thank you, John. I do appreciate it, bro. W's in the chat for Jordan, legend right there, legend for sure, bro. Thank you, thank you, John. Oh, let me do a. Oh wait, can I not do it? Oh, I can't do it. That's that is. Oh no, I can't do it. I can't I can't give a love heart over to it. Discriminating. Why? Um I always wanted to do stuff like that. And Evan also says it's been in, it's been an ideas for years, to be honest. Hey, facts though, W John. The A T man, honestly. W for sure. That's I appreciate it. I do appreciate it, man. Podcast says the music video music videos. Anything in that nature has always been my dream. I guess like Having an audience, you know, audience connecting with you, with you talking about the, the specific subject, you know, if, with your main thing, I'm guessing music, music videos, you know, um, you know, I guess like the style of music, you know, what, what music is like recently in years and what it used to be, you know, I could see them kind of subjects Man, with, with your Casey being really, really interesting, you know, or like, you know, I'm, just like from what I've seen with your guys' hobbies, you know, I guess like with Evan, you know, mainly exercise, you know, uh, video games, same with e-video games, you know, things like that, like health and fitness, like that would be cool to hear from, you know, plus as well, I help out other people to get in the mood of them kind of things, you know what I mean? You guys are talking about things that are actually helpful, actually good. What's not to love about a machine gun? What's not to love about a machine gun? I just got a podcast mic with an arm on it and everything. See, that's good. Honestly, e even having like, I don't know what main things you'll need from a podcast. I'm guessing, yeah, just a microphone and it probably, I don't even think you'll need a camera, really. I don't really know. Sick of this. I would just a microphone and just have your own little uh, podcast set up, you know? I don't know, says, um,. Uh, let's have a look. I don't know it says, yeah, they just, uh, did it a few days ago. Honestly, got a little boring halfway, though, but it's all cool. Good to see Zomba's expanding to keep the community going. Honestly, Adam, it's, I mean, you know, talking about, like, zombies and stuff, it, I, I was thinking about it yesterday. It's kind of crazy how zombies is, like, I don't know, at this stage, like, obviously no game company keeps it alive. It's just, like, the community, like people that make maps that are not in the company of cards, they're the ones that keep it alive. People that, I guess, the, the people that stream it, just anything. People that play the game keep it alive. It's insane. Like, imagine if, um, imagine if Fortnite, I don't know, the company of Fortnite, uh, <laughs> Epic, just stopped updating the game. Just stopped updating it. Or, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, stopped it then. They made a new version of Fortnite. The new version of Fortnite was crap, and the old version everyone likes more. What, what would it be like? Would everyone stick to the old version, or would people just, you know? Um, can't eat beefy. Stop testing me. <laughs> Ethos says, I, I got chicken too, Adam. You just remember? <laughs> um, Adam says, well, then apologies for your assuming. I'll take two. Ooh. Two pieces of chicken breast. Or oh. beef. 
beef backside. Beef backside. I'm sending them straight back to their graves. Oorah. Oorah, freak bag. <laughs> no Reagan? I would be nice having the Reagan. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if the Reagan would be good or probably the, um, uh, probably Tezmundo, the Draco. The Dracon would be really nice, dude. Oh, talk about a dragon. Piece of candy. Sorry, I don't mean to keep pausing it. Pausing it and pausing it, pausing it and pausing it. Not even just based our channels, but in general. I mean, one day, boys. <laughs> one day, boys. One day. It would be awesome to see, man. And honestly, it could definitely be turned into a reality. I mean, dude, that, no, like... I've hated Rick not even just so video guys. There's going to be so many cool why. things in the future for... Everyone yeah. to do streams on, videos on. We I mean, just think about it, you know? Like, if you look at the positive of... I want to... Yeah, if you look at the positive of, like, COD and stuff, yeah, it's probably going downhill, but... I don't know, I feel like there's definitely some light at the end of the tunnel with them bringing it back up. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I don't know why. Oh, the SVG. You know, it could have probably been a better choice getting the SVG. I don't know. I haven't used it properly enough to... I probably should have kept it. I was thinking if I should keep it or not. But again, it's just one of them, you know? I don't know if the Dracon would be better, though. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Ooh, dog trying to nibble our backside. Oh my god, what the hell? Ooh, piece of candy. Nice, lucky. I was quite lucky, dude. I'm not gonna lie. What the hell? We're getting some good luck here. Aim for headshots. Yeah, you know what? I think body shots are just not gonna cut it. Oh my god. This, bro, round 40 and this thing is actually doing one shot to the head. Again, I haven't, I haven't played the you know, to the point of, like, I don't know, using all the guns and stuff. I mean, half, but, like, nah, that's insane. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Oh, we got a we got an insta as well, guys. That's awesome. Freak bags. You found the ass kicking line. The ass kicking line. Oh, don't enter so unless I come with tacos. Hey, we got you. We're gonna be streaming for the next twenty-four hours, Mr. Beast Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, imagine, ugh, imagine doing a 24-hour. I don't know how people could do that, though. Talking about, like, long streams and stuff. I just, I, I don't know, man. Fair play to people that can do that, you know what I mean? But, like, a normal time for streaming is, like, three to four hours. Three, three, three and a half hours is a good time right there, you know? Anything above that, you are you are a real grinder. Me, who got 50 just camping with the Dracon. Knowing how good the Dracon is, dude, I'm telling you, man. I didn't even know, like, obviously the Dracon is, you know, pretty decent. You know, so, you know, it could probably, you know, obviously do one shots to the body of, like, you know, 30s. But I didn't know it was actually this good to, when you pack a punch it, it can still do one shots to the head on the 40s. Which is insane. Told you, yeah, the Dracon. I, I should have listened to you guys. I should have listened. Now that we've got the Dracon. Things are looking quite good so far. Things are looking quite good. To be as well, the rounds... I mean, we're using this trap strategy. The rounds don't feel that long. Really, I don't know. I think it's just these dogs that are really kind of uh, making it... More of a grind, really. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we got a doggo coming up to us. Oh. Hello, beautiful. Oh. God, is this dog gonna keep? There we go. Not too bad so far, guys. Doing pretty good. Also, SVG is really good at this round. You know what? Probably getting the SVG. I don't know which one would have been better. I thought like the Dracon might be good with its fire rate. 
but the SVG will be good. I, I, it might have more power in because obviously it's a bolt action. You know, bolt action sniper is always to be having more power. You know? Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. Dark and ah. Oh. And wait, that can't be the full round right there. Ah, oh, about to say, dude, if that was the whole round, I would have been shocked then. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he spit him back right there, though. The nuke, dude. This is going quite well so far. <laughs> Not doing too bad, man, honestly. Doing pretty swift, swiftful, to say the least, you know? Can't argue with this game. Hey, Rick Toffin, showing the miss emoji. You already know, dude. You already know, man. Hell yeah. Things are looking pretty good. And it's glad to see you back on the Shimazoric top and pledge to see you back in. Is that the end of the round? Okay, that can't be, right? That is. Interesting. See, I feel like for BO1, that would be much more slower. I don't know. Could just be me. Almost four hours at this point. Really? It's always been four hours. Time has been flying by, dude. Okay. Hopefully. Okay, once we hit 50, we'll. Don't want to go any. We don't want to go any further. We don't want to burn the old fuel tank out. You know, it's like uh, it's like eating chocolate. I'm guessing. You know, if you eat too much chocolate, you're gonna feel sick. You know, that is literally a great part right there. You know, if you if you have streams too much, you don't get as much energy. You know what I mean? So you want to try and maintain it, maintain the amount. What did you uh, stream slash record with? Oh, so. Back out. At the moment, we're shooting with OBS. Um, you know, if you're ever interested in OBS, you can get it uh, for free and stuff. It's for free. You know, but yeah, we're using OBS at the moment. It's it's a, it's a pretty popular streaming platform to use. Everyone uses OBS. You can either use OBS or Stream Elements. They're the main popular ones. Kaboom. But um, yeah, that's in terms of like streaming like system and stuff um but yeah i mean with obs you can uh how can i say you can have like plugins i think you could do it this straight you can have plugins with stream elements but basically plugins are what you can connect with obs so like uh for example we was at we're, we're able to stream on kick and youtube right now with an obs plugin which is kind of cool so it gives you more abilities of what to do which is kind of cool, but yeah. If you guys are enjoying it and into the channel, feel free to hit that like and subscribe, guys. Be much appreciated on the road, you know? Do you have like an Elgato or PVR? Elgato, Elgato. Nah, 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 nah. In terms of the camera, um, it's just honestly, I bought this camera for £14, bro. £14 camera. I tell you, I'd say back out. If you are thinking about streaming soon, or just anyone you don't don't start off um so advanced start off with what you've got bro you know haven't um ah oh, oh word i haven't messed with kick much to be honest kick you know you would think i'd say back out you know it's the it's the newest streaming platform um you know you get a bunch of people stream uh, streaming on it and stuff you do get a lot of people streaming but from my experience you don't really get much people coming in You'll get the odd one or two people coming in and stuff, but it, eh, it's not what you would expect. But who knows, though? Kick's kind of weird. I wouldn't say it's weird, but I don't know. A lot of people say Kick is, like, it's just for gambling and stuff like that. But, I mean, you do get people that do play games on Kick, but not as much. Probably, yeah, you know? Wait, I'm so confused. Are you uh, not playing Xbox? Nah, no, 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 back up. We're playing, um... Oh, yeah, now Gato is a capture card. What am I talking about? Sorry. Um, we're playing on the PC at the moment, bro. Yeah, we're we're playing on the PC. Uh, on the Xbox, no, no. We only do PC, man. Yeah, we're on Black Ops 3 PC at the moment, bro. So, yeah, if, if you're ever interested in streaming and stuff, and I don't know if you have enough money for a PC, which, honestly, you can get... Um, that, okay, that sounds bad. PCs are a little bit of money and stuff, obviously, but if you do save it for a bit of money and stuff, you can save up for a good <laughs> PC. That's what I'm trying to say, my friend. 
You're telling me I don't need a capture card uh, to pull um, pull Xbox in OBS? Are you just running a uh, just running a stream from Xbox to PC then streaming on OBS? Oh no 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 no! I see the Xbox controller. Oh okay no it's alright it's alright. So basically, let me show you. Let me show you. So okay. Uh, let me just get this from OBS, and I'll show the setup. It's not all that fancy, but it will just give a bit of information of what what we're using. So, so basically, this is the setup right now. We've got the PC. We've got the so the PC is running. We don't have an Xbox. We don't have an Xbox, but we've got the PC running. We've got the screen running, and then we've got another screen which is right here. So. Get this hope this thing doesn't break but yeah oh, it's proper dark in here but yeah that's that's the setup right now we don't have an xbox running though um yeah we we can we basically use steam to play bo3 that's what we use I mean, this is OGs. Remember when AG played did playstation streams dude i'm not gonna i do kind of miss the playstation streams man it would be nice to come back to it. It's just like, it's kind of weird. Because when you're used to streaming on the PC. Um, yeah, when you're used to it. It's like hard to come back and stuff. But it would be nice to come back to it. It would be really nice to. If we could get an Al uh, Ghetto capture card. That would be awesome. That would be. Oh, I'll probably just put these back on. But yeah. Oh, see that's nice. It's a bit more shadier now. Everything says I do PC and PlayStation streams. I love doing console streams though. Because um, it's, uh, consoles uh, streams, they are they just hit different vibe. Not gonna lie, PC is nice uh, just to do other things as well. Yeah, Evan's basically right there. If if, if you want to do like other games, like you know modded Minecraft, modded BO3 maps, um, PC is the way. But start with what you've got, man. Honestly, start with what you've got. I wouldn't. My best recommendation is. If you've got a PlayStation right now or an Xbox, start with that. I know Xbox you can only stream on um, Twitch, which is kind of sucky from Xbox. I'm not going to lie, but yeah, I really only play customs on PC, but I don't have an insane PC either. Oh, dude, you. Um, another thing to help out, you don't need to have an insane PC. Like the PC I've got is a budget PC. Um, you know, you can you can stream on. You can stream on a PC uh, with a graphics card of a 10. I'm pretty sure you can stream, yeah, with a 1060 uh, GT graphics card, which is honestly, um, it, it, that does work. Word, thanks. I'm just curious, and I'm using Elgato. And, oh, okay, that's pretty cool, I'd say back out. Hey, I guess even using, see if you've already got an Elgato, that could be even better, dude, because what you could try and do, I mean, if you start to do streams, once you start getting more people coming in, um... You know, you can start doing streams on the X, uh, streams on the PC, but have but playing on the Xbox with a capture card. You know, you guys just wanted an easy way out, right? that's why I'm never going full PC, says Evan. Uh, PC streams. I'm doing a mixture of both console and PC. See, yeah, man. And to be honest, right? You don't really see which people do that. To be honest, I haven't really seen much people, and that's what's unique. I'd say, man. Definitely respect it as well. I don't know, like kind of weird whenever like as soon as went to pc it's just kind of been like things just to stick with but um that's what i do respect about it Evan. you know you, you still stick by i guess like the roots you know you, you stick them on the console you know i don't know if, if you're interested as well man about getting the playstation 5 i think you'll really enjoy the ps5 man um with the streams they are quite similar to PS4 which in terms of streaming and setting up and stuff, but they are they're just honestly it's I would say uh, You might enjoy it. You might find it more of an upgrade for your six. You might like it. Though. That's what I'm trying to say um, Back out uh, facts RNG on moon and Shang for me is and you uh, is usually terrible dude The RNG on both of the maps can be a pain You know like sometimes on Kino I you know, normal common maps with wonder weapons, you know, you'll spin the box. Oh, it's weird. I haven't gotten the thunder gun, but you wait previously in the next game. No, later in the game and you finally get the wonder weapon that you've been wanting to get. But Shang and Moon is different. You can either get the wonder weapon second or first box hit. 
or you have to wait at least three games to get the wonder weapon you want. I, I'm not even joking now. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, BO1 and BO3 Shay. <laughs> it is the worst in terms of RNG. Moon as well. Moon as well, man. Oh my god, dude. We did a stream recently on Shang, trying to get up to high rounds. And we couldn't do it because we couldn't get the baby gun. We ended up having to do another stream. Yeah, it was terrible. But let's just say we got the baby gun, but then we died after it. it oh. Shang's are such a love and hate map. You know, you can love it, but at the same time, you can really get angry for it because it can be so annoying. I will eventually get a PS5. Just uh, just got the PC, so not too long ago. That's fair. Taking it slow as well. Honestly, that I, that's another good thing as well, man. Um, just taking it slow, like... Working with what you've got. I wouldn't recommend to upgrade very fast, you know. Just go slow with it, you know. Have your fun with what you've got. Because, um, like, I mean, say, 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 say you start off on PlayStation, right? You experience streaming on the PlayStation. You have a great time with it. You're enjoying it. People are getting to... What poor people are getting to come to your streams and you get that excitement of in the future of you getting a PC or a, or an Xbox or a PlayStation 5. You have that excitement, you know? But if you get everything, you know, up to date and stuff, it, it's gonna... I feel like personally it'll become a bit boring. Back out there says I can play up to BO2 without a GPU. I tried BO3 but just black screens and PC crashes. Yeah, BO3, I... I believe you do need to have a bit more, uh, I guess, like, I, I, I guess BO3 requires a bit more energy, I, I'm guessing, or power from the GPU and CPU. I guess what graphics card have you got uh, back out? If it's, uh, I think even if it's a, I don't know, what do they call it? A GT 1650, I think? I think it's a, I think I had, I used to have a 10, a 1050, I think that's what they call it. It was basically a pretty... Compared to the... Yeah. It, I think it could run BO2, but yeah, I don't know. Thirty games in the row since I'm about Baby Maker. Then on 31 game, I got the Baby Maker and just a crash, dude. I remember that, man. The the napalms on me just coming in. I remember, like, you had... What is it? The fire on your screen and stuff. Obviously, you know, the, the napalm zombies coming in. You know, getting ready for it. All right, come on. You know, go against me, dude. And then, bam, just crashes the game. Fair play for having patience, though, as well, man. Like, that would be so frustrating, dude. I could see some people literally throwing their controller out of anger and despite about it, you know? <laughs> Motivated G gaming. MG Gaming. <laughs> oh, God. What about EG Gaming? E Gaming. I don't know if that would be a good one. <laughs> okay, right. Jesus Christ, man. These dogs are ruthless. Head. Oh my god. I see you, Zaki. I'm going to message invisible. Oh, my bad, Zaki. I didn't mean to miss you, man. Sorry about that. Another bad thing about blowing out uh, receiving bay is I can no longer trap Astro. So I can open up the Tunnel 6 because the panel for that excavator and the panel for Biodome Excavator are close to a door. Hmm. I'm just thinking, I guess for for, for BO1, see, I, I've, I've already seen much, uh, like, much uh, gameplay of BO1 with high rounds especially. I mean, the only high round show I've seen was the starting room strat where you can uh, use the power-ups for your advantage with the hacking device. And plus, you can't blow out the windows in the starting room or, well, you know, you can't really train in there, you know? 
I don't know if BO1 moon works the same as BO3 moon, you know? If it does, I guess that's a benefit. I know the anti-gravity is so much more sensitive, though. Like, if you hit one small Rackle moon, you're literally, uh, you're going to be flying across the map. It's that crazy, man. He says, no. -uh. <laughs> I crashed on eight as well. Right, uh, the infamous round eight as well, man. Yeah, no. I'm telling you, bro. Like, round eight. It, it's a curse. I'm telling you, man. It's a curse. It's it's the curse of Trey's round. <laughs> oh, my God. Gone on round eight. It... It was crazy though when um when you got up to a hundred though Evan for like you made you made your revenge back up you know you got up to fifty and you were like okay I could give it a try for a hundred see what this goes like see how this takes place like you know you have to strike down that hundo. Down. Three nuggets are they chicken M McDonald nuggets? Bugger off. Go away. I crashed on it as well. Oh, no, my bad. I worry about that. Damn dog. You're still running. Damn dog. You're still going, says uh, John. I got done with an entire discussion post on the response to a pair in the time, and I was gone. Evan Apocalyptic started a new stream. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, like, it's taking quite a bit of time to go to where we're at right now, which is fair, to be honest. It's no gums and no A80s, but yeah, John, we're still rocking it, man. I mean, hopefully we can... I do want to try and finish this soon. That would be quite nice. we we'll just go for it. But glad to see you back on the stream, John. Glad to see you back here, man. W's right there. And we've got Braden as well coming in. Welcome back in as well. Hey, yo, we right? <laughs> E-Girl Gaming. Oh, my God. It's getting susser and susser by each name. Thanks, Braden, but not not the girl part. The the. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was me. Uh, that was that 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 that's what I mean. My goes. Uh, <laughs> uh, the only. Gondo says, the only one who gets to be wrecked while gaming is me. And that's when I play Stellar Blades. <laughs> Hell yeah, John, go on. <laughs> I'm guessing Stellar Blade is a type of game, I think. Um, hey, thank you. I do appreciate Ice Grenade. No way. Ice Grenade coming in with another raid, dude. That's insane, man. Thank you so much, man. Oh, yeah, he says another face cam. Yeah, we got the face cam running, dude. Just giving it a try. Testing waters, you know. But how are we doing, Star Square? Thank you so much for the raid, man. That is insane, bro. We got Sweet Sabine dropping in. Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're having a great day over there. We got K Gaming Live coming to the stream as well. How are you doing today, K Gaming Live? Hope you're having a great day over there, man. Uh, how are we doing today as well, Star Square? Thank you so much for the, uh, for the uh, raid, you know. What are the glasses? Are you are you so white the reflection could burn your eyes? I don't know. Just getting used to it. Just getting used to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I generally do respect you guys. I, uh, You know, you guys able to do face cam and stuff. So just give it a try. Um, yeah, just give it a try. <laughs> thank you, though. Thank you, though, man. Hey, if you guys haven't already, man, honestly, shout out to Ice Grenade, guys. He, uh, he is making a new map. Uh, I keep forgetting the name of it i think it's the new london map i forgot jml i think um and if you guys haven't i really do recommend to check out his channel guys he does a lot of work onto his channel creating all types of videos and streams you know creating maps he does a bunch of shorts as well i recommend you guys go check him out check out Ice if you guys haven't already um he's made some really great maps out there as well you know shrek swamp um which is a very popular map a lot of people love playing that he's brought out a bunch of fast-paced maps as well 
or I should say, I, the stuff we were talking about, I don't know. <laughs> John though says, Ice Grenade shows a good time to raid while we're talking about animations. <laughs> oh, God. Facts, like, I think we were talking about names and stuff, you know? Welcome, guys. I hope you're all good. Hey, Fax11 as well. Hopefully, everyone's doing good. We will, we will get into the game, guys. Sorry about that. We will get into the game. We're doing no gums. Sorry, we're doing no gums and no AA. Tease at the moment. Oh. Okay, well, we did go down, but we're on 45 at the moment. We 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 hopefully don't end up taking it down, you know? Uh raid pog. Oh that pog for sure, man. Um not a good time to talk about erections on them. <laughs> hey, it's all cooly. We we all got you, man. We all got you. <laughs> oh, you know what 45 i'm humbled that was that, that 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 was a good game fair play fair play fair play for timmy is and timmy and adam for getting up to like what is it mid 40s and 50s on here Tabano says um maybe we can help with the <laughs> and he says how though sabine <laughs> Hey, thanks for every topping as well. Um, w raid, honestly, thank you, thank you, Ashkin. I um, genuinely do appreciate that, man. Looking good, man. Hey, thank you, bro. <laughs> There's a um, ice grenade. Those ice grenade. Those says making Jake's house um, 2.0 at the moment. There, JME London zombies map, and also lethal company with logical edits. I'd seen some streams about that ice grenade. Like, are you like in the company? Uh, not the well, yeah, in the like company of making Lethal Company the the game. Um, I'm sure Lethal Company is a isn't that a type of game if I'm correct or no taboos? Uh, exactly, no taboos. Says uh, sweet Sabine. Oh no, my oh yeah, there we go. My bad. <laughs> I don't know. Says 41 for me. Timmy got up to 57. Hey, honestly though, man, I'm telling you, Adam, like, dude, this, this map is genuinely difficult. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Like, them dogs. I mean, you see them, they literally just red screens, you know? So, yeah, honestly, shout out, though, I guess, to the people that told us about the challenge, guys. So, Adam and Timmy, shout out to both of them, you know? Um, you know, them both legends telling us about the map and stuff. Absolute chance. Both of them stream as well, guys. So I recommend you check them out. We've got a bunch of people that stream here. You know, which is awesome. And yeah, it's been it's been pretty cool to be honest, guys. It's been pretty cool. Can't really uh, can't really complain too much, you know. Been a fun stream for sure. Um have a quick look though. <laughs> right, um Brain though says, What's wrong with an egg? Oh my Hey, no, there is nothing wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I know, SK. You just blew a wire in my brain. I don't know how to answer. Yeah, making lethal. Yeah, making a lethal company game. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought it was like. Cause I heard. What is it? Someone talk about lethal company. Le lethal company. And I thought they meant like a game. I thought it was, um, I don't know why, I'd, I'd seen a pic, the thumbnail for it, and I'd seen a, uh, what do they do, they had a thumbnail of something in the back rooms, and I thought, then it just thought Lethal Company is the back rooms, or something like that, but he says, I was going to says, Lethal Company is a retro-themed, spooky, exploring, asset management game, oh, okay, so it's, it's a style of game, okay, that's very interesting, I, see, I guess the more you know, well, it's getting dark in it. Hopefully, if we ever get better cameras, yeah, it would be a bit better. <laughs> John, though, says, yeah, this is real. Clip from... Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look, John. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is! And you got your head all the way up it! <laughs> Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's my favourite actor of mine for uh, of mine for a reason. Adam says, "Oh, jeez." <laughs> 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 
Oh my god, dude, what the hell? Alright, okay. I think we're gonna do a GG's here, guys. It's been a it's been an awesome stream. Hopefully everyone's enjoyed it. We've streamed for about damn we've streamed for four hours and sixteen minutes. That's kinda crazy. So yeah, I think we're gonna call it a GG's. Hopefully everyone enjoyed it, had a good time watching. That was awesome right there. I think next stream we'll be doing probably a high round or something like that. Who knows? It'll, it'll be fun though. It will be fun, guys. I tell you that. Hey, we might even be doing some more BO3 soon, which would be kind of cool. Uh, definitely going to partake in some BO4. Maybe the Alpha Omega Restrike. Who knows? But hey, have an amazing day over there, guys. Hopefully, you all have a good one over there. Catch you on the next one. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Much respect, guys. Much respect. Peace out, guys.